don't know where to start. First of all, I look fat in this shirt. Secondly, I shouldn't be here. Uh, thirdly, I've got to apologise, say thank you to Tracy at the doctor's, because I should be, what time is it now? I should be at the doctor's now for my blood's done. And then uh, Lisa at the attic is supposed to be doing my, you know, the facial I have where they put the stuff on, they send the electric shock through your face. I'm supposed to be having doing that done later. But here I am. Again, I'm ever so sorry for that. Do you expect to Natasha? Uh, she's not very well. She's got the lurgy. And Freddie's not very well either. So obviously family comes first. So here I am looking old and bedraggled and unfacelift. But there you go. That's it. I'll look, I'll look good next door to... <laughs> next door to Jennifer. I look fabulous. I? Anyway, um, I've got such a jam-packed show. I've got... I've got such a jam-packed show. Well, we have got a jam-packed show, if you say. We'd like to look at the menu. Here's the menu. Coming up today with me, John Scott, at 8 o'clock, Jennifer Taylor is doing a raglan sleeve top. It's lovely. 9 o'clock, Lucy's here doing a houndstooth table runner. 10 o'clock, we've got a shirt dress from Jennifer Taylor. And then at 11 o'clock, Lucy's doing a quick step quilt. Not easy for me to say because I'm breaking in someone else's teeth. Right, let's have a quick look at the four projects that we're doing. So we're starting off with Jennifer's uh, ruffle top uh, blouse or raglan top blouse. OK, the pictures aren't working. Let's go to the website then. Let's just go to the website and tell you how to get in touch. The, the pictures aren't working, apparently. Uh, now, we love you to get in touch. We love you to get in touch. So what you need to do, go to the web chat. Uh, click on Watch Today's Show. Now, you do have to log in. It doesn't cost any money to log in whatsoever. You can log in. Um, and uh, you see the little square there, message to Joe. Write as a, a quick message if you've got a question for Jennifer uh, or for me or anything like that, then uh, please uh, do that. Keep it short and sweet. Yeah, yet again, it's me yet again. Um, only because you can keep typing and typing and typing at your end, but at our end, it cuts you off after 140 um, characters. What you also uh, need to know on that page, you see where it says products from today's show? Well, if you have a look there, they'll all disappear in a second. When I introduce new... Um, bundles and fabrics and <coughs> all sorts of stuff, oh, excuse me, <coughs> all sorts of stuff from today's show, then uh, they will appear there. So if you're watching the repeat later on, you can just click on it and pop it in your basket. If it sells out, it will not be there. OK, then if you scroll to the top of the page, <coughs> oh, excuse me, got a little... <coughs> uh, the, uh, you see where it says anthology 12-piece fat quarter? Um, in that square there, it's... Um, oh, where did it go? No, don't mean click on. Yeah, I didn't say click on it. I just want to say all you need to do is add it to your, add it to your basket there. And then you see the top right hand corner? That's where you click on there and pop it in your basket. You can check out as many times as you like during the day because it's only one postage packaging of £2.95, four to six uh, working days delivery. Uh, there, is an, uh, there is an express one as well if you want to, the express one. Uh, uh, that's all I need to say there. Then, of course, if you want to send us a picture or if you want to send us an email, these will also go through to Little Paul upstairs. Oh, Little Paul got a mention on Facebook last night, didn't he? Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Right, now, somebody put on the Facebook. Um, I think it was Jane. I can't remember. I think it was Jane. She said, oh, there's something. That, what happened was the, re the web, the repeats on the web weren't going out. So she said, uh, maybe Little Paul didn't press the button again. Um, and then it got fixed, but it was Little Paul that fixed it. Anyway, look, me and my mate here. This is the blouse that Jennifer's making in the first act. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at this. It's fabulous. Raglan sleeve and then that lovely whoosh, whoosh, bit of whoosh, whoosh in there. Anyway, anyway, um, uh, come, and look at, come and look at the pattern and the fabrics we've got to offer you and then we'll get on with that, Jennifer. This is the pattern. Got it in the two different sizes. Seven ninety nine. Now, that's the 16 to 26, that one. It comes in the two sizes, 16 to 26. Uh, so what you need to do is check, because the two, different, the two different size patterns have got different codes. So obviously, that was that code, which has gone already. Now we'll bring in the uh, other side, 4 to 14. It's a fast and easy, Little Paul's um, nickname. Uh, 4 to 14, £7.99. and 99 pence. Uh, now, if, if, if you want to know uh, meterage or anything about that, just let me know, just let me know, and we'll tell you during the show. Uh, I've got four lovely fabrics to show you. I've got the two um, that are like the, um, 
I would say weeping willow, but it's bamboo, isn't it? It's a lovely... Now, this is sati satinized cotton. It's cotton sateen. It's got a lovely finish to it. You've seen the fabric before. This is the one that Jennifer's made her, the, her top in. Lovely. Is it cotty, cotton sateen leaves? Fabric on the blue background, six forty nine. Now remember, we 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 um, sell in half meter increments. So that's six pound forty nine for half a meter. But can I just tell you something? Something that I was a bit shocked about. Look at the width. Look at the width. Sixty inches, one hundred and fifty centimeters. Now you see, normally cottons don't come that wide, do they? Normally the cottons are the forty two to forty four. That's the wider. So now that's the the bamboo, uh, the leaves they call it in the blue background. And then we've also got it in the white background, if you like the white background. Now, um, this is lovely, because the, the, the silhouette leaves behind are in black, if you see what I mean, there you go. Uh, now, satinized cotton means it's got a lovely, it's all 100% cotton, but it's got a dressing on it to create that lovely, lovely satinized finish. 6.49, I think if you made pajamas out of this, you might slip out the bed. Remember the days in the early 70s when we had nylon, nylon pajamas, and nylon sheets. They had no chance, did you? The friction, or you went sliding out of the sheets and they were always freezing cold when you got into them in the morning. Six pounds and 49 pence for half a metre. And then the other fabrics I've got today are gorgeous. They're very, very popular. Um, Je now, Jennifer, which one of you made yours in the pink? Jennifer's done her, doing her demonstration in the pink one. These again are 150. It's model, it's called model, I think, isn't it, this one? Model and hats or something. Cotton satin, well, one's coy and then one's dancing. There's one in a blue dress, you see, dancing. Now she's facing away dancing, isn't she? She's having a samba. Cotton satin, models and florals on... No, that's not the blue one, that's the pink, this is the pink one. Bring the pink, bring the pink graphic in. There you go. Lilac, they've called it, lilac. It's definitely a pink rather than a lilac. And then I've also got it in the blue, which are the graphics you just saw a second ago. It's definitely, definitely blue, this one. It's lovely. I have to say I love, I love the blue one. There you go, there's the blue one. That's blue. That's definitely blue. Gorgeous, isn't it? I like the blue one, I like the blue one. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get on, let's get on. Let's go and see Jennifer. Now what a lovely surprise, Jennifer Taylor. Hello. <laughs> Can good I just say, it? I mean, you always look lovely, but you Aww. look particularly gorgeous this morning. What have you been up to? I don't know, I've started a good night's sleep. Oh, well, I don't know what it is, but it's... Early the... bed. It's amazing what early, early night sleep does. This is nice. Well, it's, it's the same kind of top. It's a raglan sleeve with, with, with a nice, interesting sleeve. Very it's exactly nice. the same, Elast elasticated neckline. Oh, well, there you go. How so, have uh, you been? Yeah, I'm very well, thank good, you. Good, 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 good. Thank good. you. How are you? I'm all right. Well, I should be at the doctor's, but I'm fine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. You make me laugh. You're going to have to explain this uh, treatment you're having. This, uh, what facial they, facial. Yeah. Uh, what they, what it is, it's called Environ. Yeah. And what they do is they, they, they um, have a case, half of it's casey, where they kind of shove... <laughs> cotton, things like that, to lift it. And, and then the other one is they put the vitamins all over your face. Right. Then they cover it in this white gloop. And then the gloop becomes like a, you know, like a prosthetic mask. You know when Mrs. Doubtfire, when he's having yeah. a bit, like that, right? And then they attach electrodes to the bottom of right. the thing and send electric shocks to your face. And you lie there going like that. It's like kaleidoscopes going on. And oh apparently it forces all the vitamins into your skin. Does it hurt? Nah. It does if you get it in your eye, but that's, you know. Oh, nice. But it goes all over your face. Do you feel, does it feel amazing after? You don't, but the next day you feel... No, 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 but the next day is when you feel oh, the effects. OK. The effect. Right, let's make a top, It then. sounds wonderful. You look as gorgeous as young as ever. Lovely to see you from Polly. Oh, Polly, that's really sweet. Thank you very much indeed. Get on with it, they're saying upstairs. Get on with it! Is this easy to oh, make? Oh, this is a super, super pattern. Brilliant. What I really like about it, um, and probably this picture explains it better than anything, um, it, it's a very, it. very simple top, but with four variations of sleeve. And you know just from looking on the high street that it's all about the sleeves. It's oh, definitely, all about yes. the sleeves. So I'm going to show you, hopefully, two of the sleeve variations today. So the body... 
is the same on all it's four. It's exactly the same on all four. It's just the sleeves that are different. So you've How got four brilliant. variations. Because what you could do is you could make, say, C for like day wear and everything like that, yeah, couldn't yeah. you? But then you can make one of the others for like an evening wear fabric. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? And with that satin as well, it's giving you that really yes, luxurious exactly. feel. So I think it's a fabulous pattern. It is really, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It is nice and fast to sew up and it is a very easy pack to do, but you get four variations of sleeves on brilliant. there. So that's and your wardrobe. A, that's and wardrobe it's got a good done. size range as well, hasn't it? Oh yeah, it fabulous size range. It's actually 26, that second size one. And it's actually quite a generous size as well. Oh, okay. So it's, oh, brilliant. Uh, it's not um, a close fitting garment. Yes. So you, you've got plenty uh, to play with. So basically all of the tops start out like this so all i've done is gone ahead and done the first step which is sewn my front and back together so all of your tops will start out like this okay um, my first, i'll just come into the upstairs camera the first thing i'm going to say is don't panic when you see the top bit because that no. doesn't lie like you think it was going to no lie, no so it? this is the front of the garment and this one here is the back right okay so the front is generally a little bit uh, lower than the, um, the but back nothing, nothing match. You know what I mean? Nothing, nothing matches. matches. There, and the only it? thing that will match at this point is the is the side, the side seams, seams, which is this section here. And then we're going to be putting the sleeves in. So it's actually the head of the sleeve that becomes the rest of your um, your shoulder. Your shoulder, of course. Yeah, yes. yeah. Of course, so normally you're used to seeing it the shoulder seams, aren't you, in your front and back yes, pieces, yes. whereas with this, because it's a... explained exactly what I was trying to say, but oh, I couldn't brilliant. get the words. Because <laughs> um, so, uh, it's a raglan sleeve, and what that basically means, it's cutting in across the shoulder, it's coming into the neckline, so whereas normally your sleeves end about yes. here, these are coming in in a diagonal position in towards my neckline. Very so good if you don't sleeve. like setting in sleeves, oh, because they're much one. easier. This is and the best one. Also, this is a very, very flattering line, so if you wanted to, on the day one maybe, make your sleeves in a different... <clears throat> well, you see those sporty t-shirts, yeah. don't you, with the yeah, yeah. They automatically make your arms look longer and more willowy, don't they? They do, they do. So all of the patterns start out exactly like this, so I thought I'd show you that first Brilliant. and skip that set so we can get on with doing the two sleeves. Yes, please. So the first one I'm going to show you is the, um, I'm going to call it a bell sleeve. That's what it reminds me of. Right. Oh, you're going to show us different sleeves? Yeah, I'm going to show you two oh, different fantastic. sleeves. Okay, so we're yeah. going to start with the bell sleeve. So the bell sleeve is really nice and simple. So it starts off with this section. Now, this is the head of the sleeve. Right, there you go. Right, so this is, this does look different, doesn't it? It does look different. So, where's we, that's your I, that's obviously your underarm there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so this is the underarm. Oh, hang on, they just come to join oh, us. Yeah, I'll wait for you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So this is the front. This is the un, uh, the underarm here. This yes. is going to be the head of the sleeve. Uh, so this will go over your um, over your shoulder. Yeah. And then that's the back of the sleeve. And you can see that it, it's relatively quite short. So you could just cut it like that and finish it. And that would be like a sort of t-shirt style sleeve. Yes. So go ahead and just leave it like that if you wanted mm -hmm. to. So that's not on the pattern, but there's another, there's a, four, a fifth sleeve for yes, you straight exactly. away. Yeah. Um, and then the second part here is what I'm gonna call the bell. So this is what's gonna give you that lovely, that flute at the bottom yes. of your, uh, of your sleeve. Nice okay, so we need to attach this into that sleeve first of all. So you've probably seen me do this before uh, as my little trick, but I would go ahead and change your bobbin color to something that you're gonna really clearly see because you're gonna be doing a gathering stitch. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So I've gone with a nice purple so I can see it, but then this will come out. It's not a, it's not a permanent stitch. Right. All right, so I'm gonna transfer so, so it's like when you do tailor tacks or tacking, the old-fashioned hand tacking. Yep. You always did that in a different colour, so yeah, you can all yeah. see it afterwards So you can absolutely see what you're doing. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do yeah. is get our stitch length to be nice and long. So I'm going to go with uh, the biggest the machine will give me, which is five millimetres. Yeah. And it is just a straight stitch that we're going to be doing. Okay. And you can see I've already gone ahead and put my notches in place. So these are our, our points of reference so we know where things need to yeah. go. So you yeah, can see yeah. I've got a nice big V here. Yeah. Just coming in that into that. There. Hang on, there we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Something, there's something wrong with it. You can't see the same. The upstairs camera is <laughs> kind of going crazy all over there. There it is. There's V number one and there's V number two. Okay, so go. at some point these are going to fit together, but I need to know where that is now. So I'm going to go ahead and do my little line of stitching. And you're doing just a line of gathering stitches right the way across that right section. Right the way across, that's okay. it. I've got an email. Hi, I love these shows. Oh, you're too good to me. Johnny's fantastic and has me in stitches. Excuse the pun. Annabelle in Scotland, thank you so much. Thank you, Annabelle. And hello, John and Jennifer. Can you make this dress in jersey fabric? Oh, uh, what's it say? Information's on, the... on there, John? I believe so, definitely. Uh, it says on the pattern, fabrics, a double georgette. 
A Georgette. Um, crepe de Chine. Ooh. Uh, chalice, charmeuse, rayon, cotton, voile. Unsuitable for obvious diagonals. Doesn't mention jersey. I can't see it being a problem. It won't be a problem. All you would want is you want a lightweight jersey. Yeah. I don't think you should, don't make it in Ponte Roma. No, oh no, Ponte no. Because Ponte Roma, it'll be too, too heavy. Or any of the scubas, it'll be too uh, heavy. But you know, you know that lovely jersey yeah. that's got four-way stretch that does that? That's like mercury in your hand. <laughs> yeah. That it would look lovely That would look beautiful, yeah, don't, definitely. But don't do it in the Ponte Roma. No, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't do that. Because you want that kind of... Um, the drape, especially if you're going to do like the bell sleeve that we're doing now. If, yeah. you, if you go with a thicker, it will just it will be very static and it'll make you look a lot bigger than you actually are because of the the volume yes, of the fabric. Of course. Now I've got an announcement to make, which nobody told me about before. Um, you know the um, you know where I was going. Well, if you want one and a half uh, one and a half units, and you have to ring the call centre, you don't anymore. Ooh. From now on, you can put whatever units you want on your, in your basket on the web. This is the most popular fabric, the one that Jennifer's already made it out of. Uh, absolutely uh, flying out, but you can put whatever you want on the web now. Right, sorry, Jennifer. No, it's okay. Okay. So you've done two lines of the. So we've got uh, two lines of stitching. stitching. So you can, you can clear. You can see that very clearly on the wrong side of the fabric there. So yeah. there's my purple stitches. So the reason why I've changed my bobbin um, thread yes. is so I can clearly see which one is the bobbin and which is the top stitch. And the reason why I want to know which one is the bobbin is because these are the ones that I'm going to pull. Right. Okay. So um, the way your sewing machine would sew, your top thread would go in through the fabric hook underneath the bobbin thread, go back up. So it's constantly doing a zigzag motion. Yes. Whereas your bobbin is lying underneath the fabric. So if you're going to pull anyone, always pull the bobbin thread. Pull anyone. Pull anyone, <laughs> pull the bobbin thread, yes. which is why I've changed the colour. Brilliant. All right, so I'm going to just give that a little gather now. So I'm just going to get both of those threads and only those threads. Because if you do try and pull the top one, it will kind of knot up. Yes, yes. All right. So I'm just going to give that a nice... Gather. And have you left both, would you, would you gather from both ends yeah. into the centre? You see, um, I'm not wanting to, to say anything. Uh, 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 Deborah, yesterday, what Deborah does mm -hmm. um, is she finishes off one end and only pulls from that end. And oh. I said, oh, I was always trying. Not that there's anything wrong. There's no, nothing wrong with Deborah's no way, right nothing wrong, wrong with our way. But I always do what you do. I always take from the end and go to the middle yeah. rather than go right the way along the fabric. I'm always terrified as well that I'm going to snap it if I try and pull that <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think because you're, you're halving the amount of fabric that you're, you're pulling, exactly, essentially, aren't exactly. you? Exactly. And from Chester says, well, we... Brilliant news, John, about the fabric ordering. It is, isn't it? It is indeed. Right then, so I've just done a little bit of gathering there. So it, this isn't going to be perfect right yet, because I, yes. I want to get the sizing in a second. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my right sides together. So the first one I'm going to do is definitely get those two central points together. Yeah. So I'm going to pop a little pin into there first. I think one of your pins is trying to escape. Yep. Well, we'll have that one then. Yep. And then I'm going to pop the end together. Okay. Oh. Oh. See, I told it you. It is trying to escape today, a lively one, that one. Okay. Um, also, I forgot to mention my, um, my gathering stitches that I've just done. Yes. I've done them um, one inside the seam allowance and one outside the seam allowance. So oh. the seam allowance is 1.5. Yes. So I've done a one centimetre and a two centimetre. So what's going to happen is I'm going to be stitching right into the middle uh, of those <coughs> pleats. Oh, okay. okay. All right, so I've got my three points of reference, which is the two side seams and then my central point. Yes. And then what I can then do is then just pull and tease those gathers so then it starts to lie flat. Yes. Then you can distribute the gathers evenly between that section. Yeah. So you're just making both, both have done the same length, but one's obviously flat and one's, one's full flat of gathers. And one's full yeah. of gathers. So you can see how that's a little bit, that's smaller than that section. Yeah. So I'm going to pull that slightly. And also, you've got all your gathers all at all that, that end one the moment, side. So I make sure that it's all one length first. So that's okay. Yeah. You can see I've got gathers here, none there, yeah. none there, none there. So then you can start to distribute those out, making them nice and even. But because you've done your notch in the centre, because mm -hmm. we don't have the centre notch, you could easily put more gathers in that end, couldn't you? Yeah, you do, exactly. Or this end, or whatever. You, they're not even. At least oh, exactly. you know you're going to get half the fabric in that section and, and half, half the, fabric the fabric in that, in that section. section. If you wanted to go one step further, then you could you could qu quarterize it, yeah, as I said last time. Yes. Quarterize it again, but I think that the, those three points of reference yeah. are sufficient enough. So once you've got that, then you can go back in with your machine with your normal bobbin thread. Oh so yes, because sure you're doing the proper. You're doing we're the doing the proper, proper stitch now. now. So make sure you take that bobbin out. You don't need that anymore. Put your Correct bobbin back in, and then also do don't forget to change your stitch back to its oh, original yes, length. Of course, yeah. 
Otherwise, it'll just be like a tacking stitch. Yeah. So I'm just going to turn it on and off. It's quicker. <laughs> I don't know if it's good. If in doubt on the Elna 680 to get it I back to factory. I always forget. I always forget which one it is, what the setting is. So just turn it on and off if you And forget. it goes back to the factory basic setting. Brilliant. So again, I'm going to go in now with my normal seam allowance, which is the 1.5, which is in between the two gathering stitches that I've just done. So obviously at home, you might want to pin this before you go ahead, but I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, go on then. Pattern's very, very popular. Now, there are two sides. If you see now, at the bottom of the screen... Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, yeah, so you've got the 16 to 26 um, pattern on the side of the screen there, because they've got different... This is what I was saying earlier when we did the introduction. So if you want the 16 to 26, you need to buy the AWBR02. And if you want the 4 to 14, you need to order BQBR71. Okay, so I'm just going to... Oh, and also... Uh, I said, if you want to know the meterage, just message in. But also, another way of doing it is if you go to look at it on the website, there's a picture of the back of the pattern. You can make, oh, there it is. You can make that picture bigger. And like, there you go. And it tells you all the meterages and everything you need to know on the back there. Oh, now remember, the fabric today is one meter 50 wide, not the normal 100. It's got yardage or meterage for both the 115 and the 150. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. So okay. once you've done that stitching, then you can take out your um, your bobbin thread. Then just pull the whole thing out. Comes out so easy. Oh, it's a great it, one way. if you're just tacking something. Yeah. There you go. Brilliant. So I've taken both lines of stitching out straight away. It's not damaged the fabric. It's yeah. all done and done. So you can see you've got that nice fluting going on Lovely. already. Lovely. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is bring the um, side seams together. So obviously at home you'd want to give that a press before you do that section. Yes. Um, but I'm going to just speed ahead. Yeah, you get the point. Um, so I'm going to bring the right sides together now to create the sleeve. Right. So again, make sure that your, um, your seams are matching up. So you could do this either way. You could either sew the top section, sew the bottom section together, and then insert that gathering section. So you're doing it in the round. Right. Yes. Whereas I think sometimes it's easier just to yes. splay it out uh, flat and then sew the sides okay. together. Okay, in real life, mm -hmm. would you finish that edge of that seam off? Yeah, so if you wanted to overlock that seam or if you wanted to pink it, but make sure you're pressing it up towards the sleeve. Oh, that was going to be down. my next question. Which direction do you put yeah. it in? Yeah. Um, you could all even go in and put in a, um, a, an understitch if you wanted to, but I, w I don't want to see the, um, the stitching. No. So um, a good press will keep it in place. Like you say, definitely yeah. go ahead and finish your sleeves. So I'm just going to make sure these two points are referenced together first. And then we're going to sew the side seams down. Okay. okay. Well, that's the only pin you're putting in, is it? It is, yeah, but obviously at home you uh, pin as much as you like, Malay. The guy, make sure you do that. So again, it's 1.5, so nothing's changed here. And again, just make sure that your, um, your seam where your gathers is, that it is facing up towards the top and not the bottom. So you can sew that down nice and flat. I just think it's very, it's a very versatile top, isn't it? Because it could be like a little summer day top. Yeah. But you could dress it up, couldn't you? Make it very glamorous. Uh, Jennifer. Yes. I feel like I was being told off then, yes? No, I don't understand it. Uh, oh, you can press the C button on the sewing machine and it, that returns it to the <gasps> default setting. Thank you. Oh, I do love our Oh, that's sewing. Oh, I do that's love that's our That's sewing nut. That's a sewing nut. Thank you, that's a good tip. Yeah, you don't want to do it. Well, Paul's saying, do it, do it. You can't do it while we're sewing, Paul. Thank you, sewing nut. No, that's a good tip. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so there's our sleeve done. So the last thing we need to do before we start inserting it into our garment is just finish off the edge. So you can see that I've already gone ahead and just pressed in a double hem. So that's yeah. one and two, and then you would secure that with a stitch. Just top stitch it just down. Just top stitch that down. Brilliant. But I'm going to skip that point so we can make sure we get the two sleeves. Oh in no, today. of course, of course. Is that all right? And also, you're going to show us how to put them in. Put yeah. it in. Oh yeah, yeah, John. Of course. Yes, John. I'm Jennifer course. Taylor. Don't you know? <laughs> okay, so this is where you bring in your garment. Okay, so. Yeah. Um, all throughout the patterns, and we've gone through this quite a lot in our other shows, but if I just get a pattern piece very quickly. Yeah. So this is our front pattern piece. Throughout all of this, regardless of what sleeve you're making, you've got all of your notches on every single one of these yes. sleeves. So this is our front piece for our pattern. So this is the body part, okay? So you can see we've got our side seam notches just here. Yeah. 
and we've got our sleeve notch here. So you can see I've got a single little diamond, uh, yes. not diamond shape, a triangle shape. Yeah. So this is indicating the front of the, um, the sleeve head. Okay? okay, so on the back you will have two diamonds, very similar to that. That will indicate the back. So yep. on all of the sleeves, you've got the same. So if I just bring that in very quickly. Of course. You've got a single notch there, which I've already gone ahead and done. Yeah. Come there again. There's one. And you can see that I've got two there. So I know <coughs> which Excuse is the me. front and the back of yes. the sleeve. And that's really, really important when it comes to inserting it, because if you have, if you don't put those notches in and you put your left one on the right one, you, it all of a, you will feel well, very, very different. There's not as much room, is there, no. on one side as the other? So. so if I just lie my sleeve flat very quickly, actually just put it against the brown. Yeah. Can you see the shape difference yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're not getting those notches in and you put this side, which is actually the back, into the front of the sleeve, it will start twisting, it will feel yes. really, really well, strange. You'd be walking around like this, wouldn't you'd be you? Walking, <laughs> walking around backwards. What like a star a you are stepping in extra day, John, lovely as always. <laughs> I don't feel it, Lorraine, but thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn my sleeve the right way around. Yeah. And we need to put the right sides together, okay? Yes. So that's the right side. This is where we need to just make sure we're putting it in the right side of the garment. Yeah. So there's a single notch there, and this is on the, the body. There's yeah. a single notch there in the arm. And as I'm bringing the sleeve towards me, oh no, I've got two. So oh, I, I know way. straight away that I'm dealing with the wrong side of my blouse. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just twisting that around now. Because also it's going to be uh, confusing because there's no shoulder seam, is there, at the moment? No, there's no shoulder seam Well, there's no shoulder seam, full stop. Full stop. So there you go. Now I know I'm in the right place this time because I've got two notches on both the um, bodice and my sleeve. Yeah. So I'm going to put my side seams together first. Obviously at home, guys, you would have finished your seams off, whether that's with a pinking shear or uh, your overlocker or even your or sewing your machine. Zigzag, yeah. Or your zigzag. So you're just matching the underarm seam to... Match the underarm seams first. Yeah. Then we're going to bring the two notches together, which is in this case is the back of the sleeve. Yeah. And then I'm going to go with the very top of the sleeve. Right. And so what I love about these sleeves, there's, there's not a circular part, guys. No. We're not having to ease. It, these are the simplest sleeves in the world. And there's four of them yeah. to choose from. So if you've ever worried about doing sleeves before, this is the top for you. Also, like you said, if you if you make it, you think that's a lovely sleeve. You could then, as long as you've got that top section of the sleeve, because all the sleeves are the same section at the top, aren't they? Or have they got different? Um, some of them are. Some of them are. Oh, okay, but once you say, so, so say you've made that one, you think I yep. love this sleeve, but like you said earlier, I don't want. If, I don't got, want if you're looking after kiddies or something, you don't want all that. I, I wanted to finish there. You could just have a t-shirt. Just finish it there. You could just you? make yeah. it into a t-shirt yeah. if you wanted to. Okay. So believe it or not, that's our sleeve inserted, done. Huh. So that is the simplest sleeve yeah. ever. So I'm going to go now in with my sewing machine. Uh, 1.5 seam allowance again. So just going to go around. So whereas before, when you've probably seen me do some of the other shows, like for instance, our next show, that is a round, uh, round head sleeve and it will be inserted. So we're having to, you know, yes. make sure all the points of reference are there. We're going to have to do a gathering stitch, all of that. Whereas with this sleeve, we really don't have to do it at all. Uh, Tracy says, hello to you both. Great show. Size 18, how much fabric, please? Oh, Lily. It's Lily, not Tracy. I get very confused with computers. <laughs> right, size eight, right now, uh, uh, size 18, right? It, uh, what it actually goes is, it goes uh, four to six, eight to 10, 12 to 14, and 16 to 18. So I'll do the 16 to 18. Um, depending on which style you have, with the fabric we've got today, if you do style A, you need one, uh, well, you need to buy two metres. Style B, you need to buy two metres. Style C, you need to buy two metres. And style D, oh, you need to buy two metres of the fabric that we have today, the 150 centimetre wide. But if you buy, if you're buying, if you've got another fabric, you need to buy uh, two and a half, three, three, or two and a half. A and D are two and a half and B and C are three of, the, of a normal width fabric, of today's fabric. Hope that helps, Lily Tracy, Lily slash Tracy. Right. So here we have our first sleeve inserted, done and dusted. So let's bring that out. So you can see we've got our sleeve done now. Yeah. 
there's it's a so sieve pretty, going in. Okay, so that's one done. So if you obviously wanted to make this top, then you would just repeat that on the other side. Right. So, but what I'm going to do now is skip and go ahead and do a different sleeve this time. Right. And then I'm going to show you how to finish off. Can I stop you for you one may. minute? I'll go and do fabrics <laughs> and patterns, then we'll come back and, and do I'll that And I'll prep sleeve. the next one. All yeah, right, perfect. You won't miss anything. No. You won't do anything. No, 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 no. Just get it all ready. Oh, yes. Hang on. I see what's up there. Yeah, let me just move those out of the way, sorry. So this is the uh, 16 to 22, uh, 26, sorry, 16 to 26. Four different versions there. We also have it in this size, bottom, 4 to 14. The four fabrics that you've seen Jennifer using are these four. The most popular one, uh, leaves on white. Leaves on white, which is, there's another blouse over there. Did you make the other blouse another day, the one on the other yeah. stand? Yeah, Jennifer's made the other blouse that's behind us on this one. This is the leaves on white. Remember, if you need more than one and a half units, you can do it on the website. Okay, well done, well done, well done. The one that Jennifer's using is the blue background, which is, oh no, 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 sorry, the, the pink. pink. Right, I, I, I got confused there. So the one that, no, no, the one that you made it out of originally is the blue one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, getting confused there. With the blue background. It's nice, isn't it? Lots of that in the basket, make sure. Now, if you are new to us, remember, it's not yours until you've checked out. It's not yours until you've checked out. Then the one that Jennifer's using is this one. No, this is the pink one, lilac one. Would help if I got it the right way up. There you go. Cotton, sateen, it's models and florals. 649, 649. Remember the width, remember how wide they are? 60 inches, 150 centimetres. And then I've also got that in the blue. And then I've got a couple of other patterns as well, yeah. So that's the blue there. Lots of new buyers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the second quarter family. I've got, have I got it right way up? No, upside down. Sorry. Lots in the basket for this one. Lots and lots in the basket for that one. 6.49 half metre. Now, um, I, know, I know we love the blouse that Jennifer's doing, but I have got a couple of other patterns here that I'll just run through quickly. We've got Gerties, which is behind Jennifer and I. Jennifer's made it. It's like the ditzy one with the tie front, but it's got different versions of it. So you've got the um, tie front. Amanda Wyatt's made it with the infill. Comes in the 4 to 12. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Now look, you see it comes as a little top. It comes as one with an infill. And then this one here that, that Jennifer did last time. Oh, hang on, which one I'm pointing at. There you go. Uh, with the tie across the front, 7.99. That's the 12 to 20. There it is, that's the one in the ditzy fabric there. In the ditzy fabric there. Then I've also got this one, which is a tie front blouse. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And now we've made it, we have made that in a cotton sateen before, but not in the fabrics that we've got to show you today. So I'll just show you that. So that's 12 99 Now that's the 14 to 22 uh, version that's gone in there. And we've also got it in. The 6 to 14, 12 99 Look at the amount of options on there, six different versions in that one. And then last but not least, We've got this one. Now, we have got them in two sizes, but I've only got the pattern in. So pretend I'm holding the other one here like that. <laughs> oh, Jennifer did a whole, dis a whole display yesterday of waterproofing with no water. So I had to pretend there was water <laughs> splashes down the fabric. And everything. So that's the 16 to 26. And then I'll show you that one when I go over. And, and then we've also got it in the smaller size as well. That's here. But it's exactly the same pattern, just a different size. There you go. Four to fourteen, eight pound forty nine, and then this is this is this that's this blouse here that's this blouse here. 
So that's that blouse. Now that's the, that's the bamboo, or the, the, yeah, the bamboo with the white background, that one. Jennifer made that on a dip. Do you remember what day you did that? Oh. No, but I'll um, put it on Facebook okay. for you. This one's really lovely because it's got these lovely little uh, tucks in at the shoulder seam, really flattering across the chest area. Really Beautiful. lovely pattern, that one. Lovely. Okay, right, so then, what are we doing now then? So we're, do we're doing sleeve variation number two. Okay. Uh, oh, I've left the patterns on. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> Which one are you making? So this one we're going to do D. So this is variation D. So it's got a um, an open arm. Uh, so it's covered oh, on it's the it's, keyhole. It, yeah, so it's keyhole. So it's uh, covered on the top of the shoulder, has a slight opening, and then a little tie at the oh, bottom. Oh, nice! Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Got okay, so we've got our two pieces, um, um, front and back. So it is a two-piece sleeve. Um, again, we've got all of our notches telling us which way is which. So I've got our single there, which is yeah. our front, and then we've got our double there, which is our back. Um, but they've both got the same point of reference, which is this section here. Um, and I've, you can see that I've got a nice yellow tailor's tack in okay. it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to... I know, it's just coming into oh. your tailor's tack. It's there. Gooey! There you go. There you go. So there's the yellow tailor's tack. And what's that, what's that signifying? So that's going to tell me how far I need to sew down for that shoulder seam. So I'm just going to separate oh, my tailor's tack okay. now. Yeah. I'm just making a little clip. And then that way I know where I'm going. Yes. Okay, so if I just open these out now, you can really see the shape of those pieces. Yes. All right. In these bits that we're throwing me. Ah, yeah, so this is the armhole. Yeah. Then it's going down into what would be the tie at the, um, yeah. at the uh, elbow, is the word I'm looking for, elbow. Um, so just while we've got the fabric out, just be careful of these ladies, because it's not when you... <laughs> If you um, if you don't notice them straight away, you love your ladies upside down. Oh, yes. So it is, it is, a, fabric, it is yes. a directional print. All of the ladies are the same way. They're not all going in different directions. Yes. So treat it um, as a directional fabric, OK? Because you don't want upside down ladies. No, you don't. Because uh, it, was, uh, it was only when I'd actually made... I can't remember. It was a similar garment to that. I'm sure it was. Um, and it was only when we were on the show on the day. So bearing in mind, I've already been making that for, let's say, two days prior. It was only on the show that I went, oh, there's ladies in there. <laughs> it really, they really made me jump. <laughs> so um, there are ladies in yes. there. One's got a hat. One's uh, got her back to you. Yes. They are directional. So just keep an eye when you're putting your exactly. pattern pieces out. Exactly. Right then. So I'm going to put my right sides together. So just go back to where we were. And we're going to sew that seam in together first, and then we're going to need the iron out. Just oh, just that's to okay. Just rewarn you. So it's a 1.5 seam allowance down here, guys. So I'm just going to sew down towards that little yellow tail attack, and I am going to do a little back stitch, like so. Okay. So what we need to do, can well, I bring it into the centre? Of course right? you can. Do you want it open? Yeah, fully? I think so. So what I would really um, suggest, I, I should have mentioned this actually, if you um, have a sleeve board, this, this would be perfect. You don't need one, you can do one without one. Could you use the, our sleeve roll? You know, oh, a got, sleeve roll, you know, yeah. We haven't got sleeve boards yet, but we have got um, the sleeve roll. A sleeve roll or a sleeve board, it will be super, super helpful with this part of the project, especially when you've got this two-piece sleeve here, because there's yeah. going to be a lot of pressing in that area. So what we need to do, because this section here, once you've hit your uh, tailor's tap, yeah. this section is going to be open. So oh, we do need course. to finish those seams. So what I'm going to suggest doing is going back in with your sewing machine and do a quick... Um, just a, um, a temporary stitch. So I am going to extend, extend my stitch length. And this is just going to ensure that I've got a nice, even seam allowance going all the way down. So, so you're, you're carrying on as though it was a closed seam. As though it was a closed seam. But you're using a big stitch. I'm using a really big stitch, yeah. And you're going right the way down to the bottom with that? I'm just going to go until I hit the tie, because right. then we're going to do um, something different. Okay. So let me just pop that there. Cool. Okay. So what that's giving me is a, a real nice basis then to get a really good press into that section there. Yes. Okay. okay. Because then what we're going to need to do is we're going to take our scissors and we need to make a cut where our yellow stitching is, our little tailor's tailor tack. tack. Yes. Okay. So obviously you could overlock and finish that as normal, but this section we need to do something different with. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take it under. Now we don't want to stitch this onto our main fabric, but we do want to press that seam underneath itself. I see why you're saying a sleeve board would be good. Actually, I want you to Ian's listening. Ian, our buyer, 
Ian, if we could order some sleeve boards, please, that would be fantastic. And also, can you get some little rubber fingertips? I don't know if you have oh, them. Oh, yeah, we saw, I saw your pictures. I saw your oh, pictures on Instagram. Item. So now we've got that under. That's just, a, we're creating a, um, a single stitch. Um, there's a word for it, and it's gone out of my head completely. Straight stitch finish. Right. It's a straight stitch finish. So don't worry about the raw edge because you're going to be stitching that down with this next stitch. Oh, okay. okay. So again, I'm going to use the C button. Thanks for that. Good tip on this machine. And we're going to stitch. Yes. Sewing nut, thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. That's really good. Um, we're going to stitch with a normal stitch length now. So I use the little cancellation button to get that. And I'm going to stitch that raw edge down with my sewing machine all the way down to the bottom before I hit the tie section. I am going to do a little back stitch there and cut. So you can see that's the finish there. So that's the front of the seam. Uh, coming down to you now, there you go. Okay, so this one I finished, this one I haven't yet, I will yeah. do in a second, and that's what it looks like from the back. So you've only sewn it onto itself, onto I've the seam allowance yet. itself, so you it's haven't not, gone through it's to It's not the, on the sleeve at all, right. it's literally all self-contained on that seam allowance there, there's, okay, it's brilliant. only on itself, because there you can see there's the original stitch line, Yeah. and that will come out, I'm going to take that out in a second, but I'm just going to do the other seam very quickly. Okay. We had a nice email through from Trish. In South Wales, Bonada. Uh, morning, John and Jennifer. Uh, loving okay. the show. Ordered pattern, so fingers crossed to get it right. John, when is your next ma pattern masterclass? I learned so much, but I need more help. Thank you, Jennifer. Hope I do your sleeve teaching justice. Oh, love your demo. I'm sure you Trish will. I'm sure you oh, will. Thank you, Trish, my love. Okay, so again, I'm just going to stitch that down. There's now. little Paul going, just have a go. Just have a go. You've got to just have a go. The sew and this oh, is the now, can you. I make, sure, make sure you check out your baskets on the pattern. It's very, very popular. Okay. So there's that bit done. So now you've done that, now you can take out your bobbin thread. So it's going to be up here somewhere. Okay. Let's give it up. The, 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 the big stitches. The big stitch through, that yeah. I did earlier, that's right, yeah. So I just need to find the thread. So this is where you, put, you, you get your trick with the bobbin thread, but I haven't done it on this one. Yeah, exactly. Because it, it does make it a lot easier. So I'm pulling that one now, and I can just tell the way it's pulling that that's not the right one. No. Don't if you could, you could just get your quick and pick to it, or your scissors that you just have as well. Yeah. You're just opening the seam, aren't you? Yeah. There you go. She's done a different colour, really. I know, yes. Yeah. So this is what this is in uh, in the real life. What it's like if you haven't changed your bobbin thread. How quick it would have been if yeah. I just kept that bobbin thread different. Got eleven minutes, Jennifer Taylor. <gasps> That'll be fun. This is the one. Brilliant. Okay, so you can see now that that's giving you a nice clean finish on that seam. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is sew these sides together. So this is the back side. So this is the underarm seam. So the seam. normal, the normal. This seam is the normal part yes, of yeah. the seam. Have you done this, or do you need more ironing? Uh, I'm done with that now. That's fine. So I'm just going to go down the underarm seam. So all you all would be left to do on this now is just to finish off that part and then obviously your ties. So what I would suggest doing is going in with a, um, a quarter inch stitch all the way around and then use that to curl back on yourself. So you're just hemming all the way around. Yeah, there. so you are literally just doing a, a double hem. Yeah. But an easy way to do that and to save your fingers is just to, to go in with the machine and stitch in. Again, extend your so stitch length, put a different colour bobbin in. Stitch the actual finish line or um, not? So the first um, fold. So it would be a oh, quarter, right. about a quarter, okay, okay. Be a yeah. quarter, quarter of an, an inch. inch in. Sorry, yeah, my bad. So a quarter inch and then it'll be doubled back on itself. Yeah. So the stitch line would be that one there, not the... So you've um, almost done like a rolled hem. Yes. But your, but your line measure. of stitching is where you do your first roll over and then you do it again so you're not going to see that. Do you want me to just do that No, 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 it's, it's fine. Does I, that make I, sense? I, unless, unless you want to, but I just understand. If I just do one yes, section yeah. very quickly. You've got nine just, minutes. Got oh, that's fine. So what you would do is go... 
If I just do that curved bit there. Yeah, 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 need some tiny bits just to see. Okay. So I've got my little line of stitching there. So again, extend your stitch length, put the, the uh, purple, a different colour bobbin in yeah. so you can take it out in a minute. But you've got a little guideline there on there. So what you would do is fold that back to the, to the seam. Exactly on the line of stitching. Exactly on the line of stitching. Yeah. And then you can then roll that back again so you can see now the stitching is on here. So when you're dealing with curved edges, you can actually pull your bobbin thread and that will give you a nice curve. Of course, yes. Whereas on the straight ones, it's perfect because it gives you the ruler. So either yes. way, you've got a nice even hem all the way around. That quite tricky shape. Yes. That is a tricky shape. So if you're putting yes, in, like you say, yes. your... Um, so what I'll do is stitch in there and stop and then you've got a bit of pull on that one so you can I, gather on that yeah. section. Do you want me to do that again? And now I just need to do this bit again because the camera didn't see that little bit okay. there where you fold it on the actual stitch. So part. when you're stitching, what I would suggest do is change your bobbin thread, stitch this section independently because you want to be able to pull that to get that nice curve. Yeah. And then again, this is being independent stitch as well. Yeah. So what you would then do is you'd pull the stitches slightly, pull it so it curves. So you've, yeah. got, your cur you've got your first fold and then you can fold it back again, giving you a nice, even and consistent hem around the whole thing. That's a really good tip because it's very difficult. Sometimes you go around shape. curves like that, you get that... Um, like hexagonal, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas the, the, it, what you're going to do is give, you give yourself that sort of semi-E stroke yeah, gathering exactly. stitch, especially in that awkward shape Brilliant. on there. So hem the bottom and then what you would then do is attach it to your other sleeve. So again, we're going to do that very quickly. So again, put your sleeve right side out. Cool. So right sides together. Now I know this one's worked because I ch checked it earlier. She says, yep, yeah, we're okay. Yeah. So again, single notch, single notch. So nothing's different from the first sleeve to the second one. It's just the shape and the design of the sleeve that's different. Yes. But all the notches work in exactly the same way. So I'm just going to go for it rather than okay, pinning. Brilliant. Most popular fabric of the hour is the ladies on blue. Um, oh, I haven't got it here. Uh, can you ask me the, the ladies on blue? This is the, the, the fabric, ladies on blue. Thank you very much. This is the most popular fabric of the hour so far. It's called models, but we call it the ladies, because, oh, oh, I've just wafted everything off the table. <laughs> that wasn't really I would clever. have finished, though. Cotton sateen, models and flowers, floral on blue. Lovely, uh, sort of demure colours, aren't they, really? Oh, OK, Little Paul's got his word board out. He's saying it's a very alluring fabric. Alluring fabric. I've read fabric called alluring before. I think Lucy's favourite's the one I'm working with. I was, I was pressing it uh, before we came on air. She's like, oh, that's a nice fabric. So Lucy likes the pink oh, one. Oh, just Lucy likes this pink one. Okay. OK, so we've got two sleeves now. So we've got our, I'm going to call it a bell sleeve on this yeah, side. Yeah. OK, and then we've got our lovely tie version with the keyhole arm on this side. So I'm just going to pretend that that's done. Yeah. So that's the version there. So the only thing that's left to do now is to basically create a casing in this top section yes, for, for our um, elastic, elastic to go through. Yeah. So it's a really thin elastic. And I do like that the pattern does come with your elastic guides. You never know how much or how little you need, but you know exactly how much because the pattern dictates oh, that. Oh, fantastic. So I've got my little thin elastic there, so I've measured that out so I know how much I need. Yep. And then what you then do, so very similar to our um, double hem that we did down there, but you're going to make it slightly bigger because obviously you need to get that elastic into that section. Do you want to talk about the elastic? No, no, I was just, I was just holding it up so you can see we've got the elastic in the white. £1.99. Like, that's the white, five metres. And then there's the black. <laughs> it's all going on here, yes, very... There you go, five metres of the black there, six millimetres white. OK, brilliant. brilliant, carry on. So all you're doing is a double hem, um, but the, um, the, it'll be slightly bigger to allow your elastic to go through. So what I would suggest is leaving your hole in your casing in the back part. Right, yes. So I know this is the back because it's higher than the front. OK, and then I would go and get your bodkin out. So when you do this, thread it through, but don't stop there. Actually take it down through the bodkin. Yes. Because it pinches it. Yeah. All right, so it is a, it is a thin casing because it's not massive. 
massive. Yes. Um, so you, you you will be pulling that quite a lot as you're taking it through all of that section. You just section. use the toe safety pin as well. Yeah, of course you? you can. Yeah, but I do find that this is easy, especially when you're getting over to the sections with, with your the, um, with, the seam with your seam yeah. allowances. Um, and then once you've taken it through. Um, just pop a pin in, the, in the, when the elastic's together. Put a pin in it first, try it on, because I know it comes with a guide, but you want might be a little but bit also looser. Some people uh, exactly. like it tighter, some people... So like, try and also, on. some people are going to wear it like this, and some people are going to wear it... pull it, it off the it shoulder. Down. But, yeah. you know, they're going to wear it off the shoulder, aren't they? So. Yeah, so this is like exactly... You can dress it up or dress it down. So, you sew a casement all the way around the neckline. All the way around the neckline. With a hole at the back. With a hole at the back. Push that elastic through, pop a little um, a safety pin in the back, try it on, adjust the elastic if you want to or need to. And then when you're happy with that, sew it together. Now I sew my elastic together with a zigzag stitch. Right. So do that first. And then you just need to just go back in and just sew the closing together. Okay. That's but... the neckline done. So again, not only is the sleeves a really simple way of doing it, the neckline's really, really easy as well. And then the last thing you need to do is just, again, a double hem. It's the same as what you're doing up here, yes. but down here to finish the bottom of your garment and you're done. So you've got, four, well, it's four, four um, blouse versions, four different sleeve versions in there. But if you're not going to do the bell sleeve, technically you've got five because you've got like a t-shirt version in there exactly. as well. Exactly. So it's really great for value. It's a what, fantastic wardrobe one for a capsule wardrobe, I think. Handmade also, capsule wardrobe. Well, I was going right to say, and, because you're going to wear um, yours is like because yours now that sleeve's not that's not on here, is it? That um, one? It's basically this sleeve. But all I've done is just taken a scoop out of it. That's that's the only difference. So I've yes. made it a high low. So it's low. It's higher. Sorry, higher in the front and lower in the back. So it's just so you a just altered your pattern. So to I've just do altered that. my pattern to create that shape. Yeah. Um, can you, oh, hang on. Uh, can you please explain what cotton sateen is? Is it a lightweight cotton? Uh, now, no, no question's a stupid question, no, Wendy, at, at all. all. Um, it's not lightweight. It's not a lightweight cotton. What it is, it's got, uh, imagine a, what do you, uh, It's like a finish, isn't it? The, the, the sateen is like a finish. I'm trying to work, work out the weight for you. It's, it's not as heavy as a Macau solid, but it's not a lawn. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of halfway between yeah. the two, I'd say. Oh, hey, I've got the GSM here. There you go. 120 GSM, that is. So what's a, can you look at what the Macau Solid is? So I can just tell the difference between the Macau Solid and that GSM. Um, so Wendy, and, and what it is, is the satin eyes it is a finish on, because it's all cotton, there's no silk in it, there's no polyester in it, it's all cotton, yep. but it's just a finish on the fabric. Now, this is a good quality one, so your satin, if you, I don't, I don't wanna, you can buy satinized cotton cheaper elsewhere, and after you've washed it the first time, the satin, I, the satin Comes off. goes off. This will stay, it's impregnated into the fabric. Don't ask me how they do it, I don't know the technical. <laughs> but when you wash it, it's yeah. not going to come out as a plain piece of cotton. No. Whereas some satinized cottons are, well. do come out the washing machine and they, you've lost all the satin finish. Whereas this isn't, it? it's a really, really, it, it feels like a heavy silk, doesn't it? It feels like yes. a nice silk. Yes, it does, yeah. But it is 100% cotton. It's nice against the skin as well. It is, it is really lovely, luxurious fabric. Exactly. Without the trickiness of having to sew your, sati your actual oh. satins or silk. Yes, yes, because satin or silk then can slip and everything just doesn't slip, No, does not it? at all. It's really nice to sew with. Right, Jennifer, you're back yep. in an hour I am. doing a dress. A yeah, I am a doing shirt a dress. dress. A shirt, shirt dress. dress. Thank you so much you're for welcome. that. You're welcome. We will see you in uh, an in hour's time. Right, patterns first. Let me get rid of those. Right, if everyone checks out, once everyone checks out of the 16 to 26, I've only got 10 left. Loads and loads of you coming in for this. Not surprised, it's a gorgeous top, isn't it? Uh, it's the gathered raglan sleeve tops, four different versions. Now the tops are all the same, right? I'll show you the back. The tops are all the same, but the sleeves are what's different on this. Seven pounds and 99 pence, and it is easy. It's a fast and easy pattern, and it is very easy. That also comes in. The smaller size as well, 4 to 14. If it's coming in, there you go. 4 to 14. 7 pounds and 99 pence. Right, let's have a look at the fabrics. So now the one that Jennifer has made this one out of is the bamboo leaves on blue. It's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Now, remember, remember, remember how wide this is, because normal, a cotton doesn't come this wide. Normally, the cotton would be the 44 inches, 112 centimetres. Look at this. 60 inches wide, 150 centimetres wide. It's nice, isn't it? That's lovely, look. 
six pounds and 49 pence. Uh, for half a metre, remember we're selling half metre incomes. And remember, now, if you want more than one and a half units, you don't have to ring the calls. Okay, so you, can, you can do it. Uh, in, yeah, my glasses fell off the table. Now, the, one, the other blouse is made off the back. This is the leaves on white background. Out of the two, as for these two, this is the most popular. Lots in baskets. Please check out your basket. 6.49 for half a metre. Then we've got the one that loose, uh, Lucy, no, I've just seen Lucy coming in. Jennifer, uh, this is called lilac. It's actually a pink one, but it's called lilac. Again, it's 60 inches wide. Models and florals. Now, if you come in close, you can see that there are ladies. One dancing, one standing. Six pounds and 49 pence for half a metre. Okay, the last fabric is the blue one, which is the most popular of the hour. I'll just find it. Oh, there it is. By a long chalk. Lots in baskets. Please check out your basket. Oh, it's upside down. Well, I've chosen to do this blouse with them all upside down. It's upside down, that one. Six pounds and 49 pence. You see, if you made a lovely skirt out of it, they'd be going all, in all directions, wouldn't they? Oh, that would look Do you know what? That would look lovely in, um, in a um, circular skirt, wouldn't it? Oh, I've got these other patterns very quickly. Um, if you want any of these other patterns, just check on the website. Just check on the website. Got three different other versions there. They're on down there. Um, Lucy's coming up after the break. She's doing a hound's tooth block. Uh, you better tell her to bring a scarf because it's freezing in here. Um, how long have I got? Oh, don't forget to check out your baskets. Um, I will see you in three minutes. Make sure you watch the adverts. Here she comes now. Oh, she's gone back to get her coat. Um, Lucy up with her hands tooth check straight after this three minutes worth of very important messages. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. This Thursday, Jo Carter is back with one of her most popular toys, her long-eared bunny accompanied by an adorable friend. Add to your menagerie of Jo's animals with this gorgeous pair of rabbit friends in pretty patchwork. Originally featured in issue 12 of Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine, we have three kits available in fabulous floral fabrics, yellows and pinks, just perfect for spring. And you can get ahead with your handmade Easter presents too, as Jo will be sewing a matching bag for your bunny pals, so you can present them as a thoughtful gift. So hop to it! Join Jo and Tash for this brilliant new show on Thursday the 1st of February at 9am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. We are celebrating our first birthday. Sewing Quarter turns one year old on Wednesday the 31st of January and we're inviting you to join the party. Tune into Sewing Quarter for a special week filled with fun, for competitions and plenty of prizes, plus amazing guests and fantastic deals. Starting at 8am on Wednesday, Natasha and I will be together in the studio looking back at all the amazing highlights of our very first year. And we'll be racing against the clock with a special challenge for us. So don't miss our week of celebrations from Wednesday the 31st of January. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78, Sky Channel 678, and online at sewingquarter.com. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts.
That's tomorrow, our birthday tomorrow. We're a year old tomorrow. Where's that year gone? Flipping heck, that was fast. Hope this is feeling better tomorrow. I can't do it so off on my own, can I? Anyway, look at this. Yeah, it's one way of winning, isn't it? Doing both levels and so off. Isn't this lovely? Isn't that gorgeous? Now, it's ha a, a hound's tooth, but also, uh, to me, it looks like um, bats flying, like Batman flying. So I can see, can you not, nobody see that? Can you not see Batman? No? I can. Look, there's his mark, there's his ears, there's his body, there's his wing. Anyway, it's lovely, isn't it? Right, we've got four bundles and a book to show you. Ooh. Um, it's only when you're here it goes freezing cold like this. Yesterday it was like a sauna in here, and today it's like. At least it, don't they say if you go in a cry, is it a cryo something chamber? You lose weight or something if you get cold that cold. That'd be quite good because you shiver the weight off. Anyway, look at these. Yeah, cryogenics. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You go in a you go into a chamber because athletes do it, don't they, and everything like that. You go into a chamber. Yeah, and then they got the. I know what I'm talking about. They go into chambers that's sort of icy, icy, icy cold. It is. It is. And it's not Rao Paul, but it, I'm right. Right. Cryotherapy, isn't it? Something like that. Anyway, black, white, and ochre. In this one, you get a meter of the white, a meter of the black, and two meters of the ochre, and the ochre thread. 27 pounds. That's good for four meters of fabric, isn't it? 27 pounds and 49 pence. That's the one that I just showed you that Lucy's already made. Then I'm moving on to this one, which I like. I love both of these, love both these. You get a meter of the black, a meter of the white, and two meters of the, I think that's deep orchid, is it not? There it is, deep orchid, black, white, and deep orchid. At four meters. Plus your thread, 27 pounds and 49 pence. What's the matter? No, but I didn't have the graphics, did I? I didn't, we didn't have the graphics, man. Yeah. Then, now this one's slightly different. This one's got a meter of gray. You've got a meter of ivory and two meters of the um, aqua. A turquoise, sorry, plus the thread. 27 pounds and 49 pence. Then I've got red, white, and blue, very patriotic, red, white, and blue. So you get a meter of the blue, a meter of the white, well, it could be French, because that's red, white, and blue as well, isn't it? And then the red here, you get two meters of the red. Now this is very, very limited. This bundle is very, very, very limited, okay? And then the book that it comes from, oh, it's on the front cover, look, there it is on the front cover. Runners, 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 bed and tabletop. Now, we've made a lovely um, bed runner from this because it's in my house at the moment. Oh, no it's, not. no, it's not in my house. I brought it back. Do you remember the one? There was one. Lucy made a bed runner, right? And she went, oh, I really love this. I really want it. So I took it home, took a picture of it on every single bed in my house <laughs> and then sent them to her going, oh, doesn't it look lovely? Because she'd been told she couldn't take it. This is a really lovely book. Oh, look, that one's on the front cover. And it's they've also chosen it to be on the, on the first page. Um, really, really lovely book here. Uh, you can do coasters, you can do tabletop runners, you can do bed runners. I've got one, I've got one in my basket. I'll show you that we made out of cave fabric. But there it is again. Oh, now remember this one. We've done this one. We've done that one, haven't we? Isn't that the market stall one? Picnic at the farmer's market. Yeah, we've done that one. Jane Alcock did that one. Yep. Anyway, that's the book. Let's go and see Lucy. Oh, it's not too cold over your side. It's cold. Let's see. It warms up when you get near me. Oh, it's because you're <laughs> lovely and warm. Oh, you smell nicely. Oh, thank you. Anyway, where have you been? We normally not smell nice. No, you normally <laughs> whiffo. Um, right. Yay. It's lovely as it's house tooth. It's it a hound's tooth nice. check, isn't it? But um, it, I looked at this this morning and thought, oh my goodness, that looks so complicated. You've got lots of different angles. But then if you look closely at it, it's actually quite, not simple, but it's, it's cleverly put together. It is cleverly it? put together. That's what I like about this one. Even when I looked at it, I thought, oh, that's lots of tiny little triangles, you know, yes. little triangles and complicated, but the construction's actually uh, very simple, which is So nice. now what are you doing today? Just going to show us how to do one of those I'm going to show you how to do one of the blocks. 
Right, now we worked out earlier that from the bundle, mm -hmm. you can make four blocks and have some fabric left over, can't yes. you? So to, yes. from the bundle that we, we put together, the 27 pounds, 49 pence, you could make that twice over, but it is backed as well, it is backed. So you could make that twice over. Okay. So it would make, it would be, um, it would make like a nice little baby quilt and yes. with those colours as well and that contrast, I think it would be lovely. But also like it's like the kind of size that you can throw over the back of a chair, the back of a sofa Absolutely. and things like that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. And um, the, um, I've used this on the backing, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I've used some of the colour on the backing, but if you're going to do it for a, for, um, you know, at a larger size, you'll have enough for the front then and, and your back. Oh, what, so you can make well. it even bigger yeah. than four, yeah. but not, you wouldn't have enough for the backing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm trying to okay. say. Okay. Need another coffee. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go from the very, very beginning with this okay. one. Sorry. I'm going to have to keep an eye on you. Yeah, it. sorry. Is it new? It is, yeah. It's nice. It's for my birthday. It's been your birthday friend. recently. <laughs> I thought you'd had that already. No, it has. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so because... The, the method is so interesting. So it is quite a lot of straight lines. Right. But I think that it's nice for everybody to see um, the whole process of it going together. And it's funny you said Batman, because it makes me think of um, sort of computer games as well. Oh, yes, so, that uh, camp, Space Invaders. Yeah, so this would be nice for, for anybody that does, you know, gaming or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, this yeah. is a nice pattern to do as well. So um, all of the measurements are in the book. Right. And I'm starting off with strips. So I've just cut um, strips from the full width of the fabric. Okay. So I'm going to sew these into pairs, light okay. and dark. Geraldine says, oh, I have missed you too. I don't know who she's, I don't know what she's watching. <laughs> oh, get this bit, get this bit right. Are you ready for this? I've been on holiday to Mexico. Oh. And I'm chatting, I'm catching up on what I've missed. Venue for the wedding is booked. Where are we coming, Geraldine? Where is it? Her daughter is getting married. Okay. She's doing all the um, table oh, napkins yeah. and everything yeah. like that. And uh, he's called Adam. The man she's married is called Adam. Geraldine does approve. And there's something else, let's say. But Geraldine was, how can you afford to go to Mexico and do a wedding, Geraldine? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because you know my nephew's getting married, Mikey. Oh, yeah, and it was supposed to be always oh, a long engagement. It's a long engagement. Already, it's like Anna's like, we're going to the south of France. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Alex, my niece, was like, well, I'm only coming if you're paying my flight. <laughs> <laughs> just take a straight line. Yeah, and I'm just going to um, chain piece them. So I'm sewing two together, and then I'm going to repeat it. Yeah. Your nails are very shiny. So I did those done as well. No, I did, and then I got super glue on one of them. Oh no! I know. I was gluing. Got new um, book bags for the kids, and the bottom bit was just like a bit of plastic that just would come out. Oh yes, yes, yes. And I thought, we well, sell that, those. That's how they're ruining their bags because it's just falling out. Yeah. Because so it's not sewn in, um, so I decided to just slightly cheat and super glue it. And got it all over your nails. And got it on my nails, oh. yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. So now you're just chain piecing yeah, so uh, I'm just... two black and white stripes together. Yeah, just And how wide are they? On. Two inches, did you say? No, I, th I think oh, they're one and a half. Okay. Yeah. Um, one and a half inches, yeah, one and a half inches. Morning to you both, I love the show. Can you please let me know the book with the medical packet. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, my grandson's diabetic, so this would be so useful for him. It was, it's a brand new book, and it comes in sections where the kiddie backpack is from. We did it with Joe Carter the other day. We'll find it for you, my love. Ellen, we'll find it for you now. It's called Crafty Little Things. So we'll show a picture of it in a minute. Oh, see if we've got stock first, Roger. So I haven't pinned, so I'm just adjusting as I go. You'll do what, sorry? I haven't pinned anything, but obviously you can yes. pin if you want to. Oh, no, it's out of stock at the moment. Ellen, Paul's saying it's out of stock at the moment. Was lovely. Everybody, when we, when we opened that book in prep, um, Hannah loved the um, uh, little uh, first aid kit, and so did that. Uh, Hayley was really loved it. Is that the one with the strawberry backpack in it? No, no it's got the, the little baby backpack that uh, Joe did the other day. Oh, cute. 
Oh, now what's he doing? Okay, so now, so I've got the two together. Yeah. And I'm going to sew it again to make oh, okay. four. But you're saying the... So black, alternating. Black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. Okay. Like that, so I'm just sewing okay. down this side. Would you not press at that point? Well, probably, but I'm going to do it after I've done this okay. one. Okay. That's a hint. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing, because obviously it's made up of black squares, white squares, and then Everton mint squares. Everton mint, yeah. <laughs> so um, that's what, that's where the, it looks complicated, but actually, it's actually a one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Do you call it a 25 patch? No. Because <laughs> it's got 25 <laughs> squares on it. Yeah. Oh, no, but I can see the repeat. I couldn't see it. There are four, it's a four patch repeated, isn't it? No. No. What is it? I don't know. Oh, I'll honestly, have to have a look in a second. Say no, like that. When you, I can see a four patch repeated and then a, a border put on it. Yes, it is a four patch. No, it's not quite, is it? Because it's. Yeah, because look, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, yeah. three, four. One, two, three. And then two borders. Anyway, we'll wait to see how you do it. <laughs> I'm making it up now. I think I know everything. Because I've got a sewing challenge tomorrow. I? Do you know if you're my? If I you're... think you're with. I think so. Oh no! I'm not Legal. sure. <laughs> oh, we, we don't know the details. I kept it very secret. So, oh, that book Ellen has sold out. I'm ever sorry, but we are we getting it back, Paul? They're gonna. It's gonna ask if we can get it back. Good morning, John and Lucy. The only thing I can see is Batman. I love you two <laughs> together. <laughs> That's the one that we're doing in the ochre, the black white. They're all, well, no, they're not all black and white. There's, we've got black and white and ochre, black and white and deep orchid. Then I've got grey and, um, yeah, what's the, what's the white? Ivory with the turquoise. And then we've got the blue, red and white at the end. So I've just got a really long strip now. Yeah, oh, let me move that. So I'm just going to press, and I would press, um, all the seams to the dark side. Oh, okay. But I'm just gonna just press it whatever okay. way, just for speed. Okay. So, because it's easier. No, you don't need to see it if it's not because it's not the way you're supposed no, to do it. No, it's not the way you're supposed to do it. You should really press it all to the dark side. Okay. While you're pressing that, I'll just show you the book again. Uh, Runners always very popular. This book, Runners Tape Beds and uh, the thing is, you can take a block from this. And make, oh, look, hang on, look, I've got this one here. I've got that one here, look. That's, Joy did that. That's huge, isn't it, that one? Uh, hang on, so that must be the um, Dragon's Lair, I think that one's called. No, it's not. It's called the Stepping Stones. And that gives you uh, oh no, that's the pillow sham. Hang on, it's a dragon's there, bed runner. Oh, I don't know where the, where it is. Hang on, there it is, bed runner. I'll just tell you what size it comes up. That one. That oh yes, that is big. Seventy-five by thirty-one. That one. It you is. could run the length of your bed almost. That one, couldn't it? The stitching's lovely on that as well, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, I'll fold that up. So now I've just got my long mint strip. Yes. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do is sew the two long sides together. Oh, so it's like a bargello or a tri trip around the world? Yes, exactly. Oh. Mm. So I... Oh, OK, I'll wait and see, I'll wait and see. I'm getting ahead of myself now. I know, it is, but it's a very... It's interesting, you know, even yes, for me yes. to see the different ways um, things are done, the different patterns. So it's very good if you want to practice straight lines, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's actually very useful to practice straight lines because it is, can, you know, There's a lot can of be it. something that's yeah. tricky. Yeah, it's a lot. I was looking at the time thinking, I'm very hungry. When's it my fruit time? <laughs> 
But then I've suddenly realised I haven't got fruit today because I wasn't supposed to be in today. So if I could just have a soya vanilla latte <laughs> waiting for me, <laughs> then I'd come off that day. <laughs> Paul made me have a two-minute break yesterday as well. What did you do in two minutes? <laughs> Not eat a whole lot. Yeah, because you can on Sky, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, now I meant to ask. I meant to ask yesterday because it was a bit out of sync last night. I tuned in when it said that it was John's tools and it was me and Deborah doing something and all the hours were a little bit jumbled up. I don't know if something happened yesterday. Oh, no. Helen says, I'm gutted. I'm going to miss your live birthday show as I'm at the hospital. Helen, oh. but how long are you there all day? Because it'll just repeat all day long and repeat all day and repeat all day. And we're doing a week worth of birthday uh, uh, celebrations. OK, so that's it sewn together. Right. So it's like a tube, you know. A tube. It's a tube. An Everton mint tube. Yeah. And now you're going to cut it. And then um, in the pattern, there is um, a template. OK. But so you can use the template or, or you can use um, a 90 degree triangle okay brilliant so you can always just check oh yeah just check it's the right one just check it's the right size oh now i've got a question for you as a professional what color sewing cotton would you suggest use the black and white fabric together it's a very interesting question wendy a good question um i tend to use just a neutral color all the time when i'm piecing yes um anyway um i I don't think it really matters too much when it comes to piecing. Right. Unless you're pressing your seams open, because if you press your seams open, there's a chance, chance you see. might see um, the thread coming through. Um, but I would always go lighter rather than So like you have darker. done here, so if you're doing black and white stripes, use white. Yes. Okay. That's my recommendation. That's your personal recommendation, That's my not personal... the recommendation of the channel. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, my that. unauthorised yes. recommendation. I don't know. Well, I think I with black. Her. Automatically go with black. I think, but I don't well, know I'll why. Well, I'll tell. I'll tell you why when I talk about the quilting. Okay, remind then. me. Okay, I'll remind okay. you. Wendy, remind her when she's talking about the quilting. Yes, to okay. talk about the so thread. So, what size triangle have you got here? A line with yes. Okay. So, w if you are using um, a ruler, you're lining up your seam. Yes. On the. Th um, well, that's what it says. If you've cut the, the template out from there, it's saying to Yeah, align template, it with so. the seam line. So you're yeah. aligning that, that three mark there and then um, okay. cutting. So we need 12 of these. Creative grid rule. It's the 90 and 60 degree triangle, I think this one is. It's it? really handy. Oh, 45, 45, sorry, 45. Yeah, handy little ruler. And then once you've, once you've cut them, you just pop open. What was the point of doing seam the seam there. in the first? Oh, I see. Because you needed to get the to tube. make the to make the squares. Yeah, uh -huh. and there's your little triangles yeah. that we thought were going to be so difficult, didn't we? And they're just little oh. squares. Yeah. There. So it was just a little, a tiny bit of stitching at the top there yeah. that you just need to pop okay. open. Okay. So then I'm just going to keep cutting and I'm just rotating the ruler. It's going away from me this time, so I don't need to stand away so much. So. No, I should probably do it on an oh. angle, though. Could you done with the easier. rotating cutting mat, really, Lucy? Really, <laughs> yes. So do you want to pop them as I'm cutting them? Oh, all right. <laughs> Didn't have to work as well. <laughs> it's actually quite fun, that bit. I'm giving you the fun bit. Do you not need a quick unpick? No, just... just I'm Could trying you... to be gentle. It's no, what Lucy don't... Brennan made this, no, you know. No need. Just pull it. Yeah, you say It'll that and then fine. it stretch. You go, <laughs> oh, who stretched this? No, well, I'm going to square them up anyway. Oh, okay. Well, I'm probably not, but you should. OK. I've lost count now. Two, I've got two here. OK. Oh, oh, no, you're a bit ahead of me. <laughs> How many do you need to cut, then? I think it's 12.
Um, just trying to think, so it says how many you have to cut. 12 units. Am I meant to be um, pressing these as I go along? Um, well, I'll do... No, I'll probably no, do it. I'll do it after. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Uh, uh, hello, Lucy. Love your demos. Can I ask what's the name of the purple behind you? Oh, uh, I think it's... Um, th there's a purple and there's like a... a yeah, yeah, but the Raina wants to know what colour it is to buy it for the purple. She's making a purple quilt at home out of our... Um, anthologies and things. We'll have a look for you, Lorraine. Uh, it's, in the, it's in Lucy's next hour, that quilt. But the purple is called... There's two different purples yeah, in that like, as um, well. Don't know, is it all kid, maybe? Damson and... Oh. Forest fruits. Oh, there you go. So I would imagine the forest fruits is the darker of the two, would you? Yes. Yeah, and the damson would be the paler of the two purples. Hope that helps, Lorraine. Ooh. Have I done enough? I'm probably doing way right. too oh, many you're here. Not counting. <laughs> no. One, two, three. I'm just going ahead and cutting four, them all. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's fine. That's all we need. That means at least you've got ones to mess up on if you go wrong again. So then ideally what you want to be doing is trimming the, you know, pressing them all yeah. and trimming them all. Okay. If you're stuck for time, once you've cut a few and you know that they're the right size, you know, or cut one or two, check the size is right. And then if they're all right you can just trim off the corners with scissors yeah because this one here you'd need to trim you know, this one like off. that well because you're going to have dog you know you're going to have dog ears well that'll get go in the seam it'll be fine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i think you press them open for you then yeah but you do want to get rid of those because they'll just create too much bulk the dog ears the dog ears so you can square them up and use your rotary cutter. Yeah. But if, you, if you're happy with the, you know, you know that the size is right. Come on down. Well, that's prices <laughs> right. I had that in my head as well. <laughs> and obviously I'm just doing it quite quickly, but yeah. you take your time at home. Okay. You're just in tomorrow, aren't you, on the birthday show today and tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, we're doing a self. Victoria Pete's on tomorrow, and Natasha and I are having a challenge. And I'm with Lucy's team. She sent me a message yesterday. She said, are you ready for battle? Oh, no! <laughs> Did she? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you've got one too many here. You need 12. Oh, have I? Yeah, oh, right. 12 of those. Okay, we've got an extra one. That could be for the placemat. Yeah. Okay, so now we're just going to lay it... Out. Right. You make. We're making um, rows, so it tells you, um, yeah, how many rows of each that you need to make. Okay. So you just go white check, a uh, white stripe, white stripe, white stripe, black stripe, black stripe. Yes. So wh where are your black squares? Are so your you make so. Okay. So you make. So many of each. Can we just... Oh, sorry. No, it's all right. Um, however, I still prefer to lay it out first. To make sure. Just to make sure, rather than referring to the rows. So I'm going to lay out the block. <laughs> you got it now? No. Oh, I'll leave it open there if you <laughs> yeah, can answer then. Because it's very important that you're getting these sections in the right... Direction. In the right place, because yeah. if you... Um, do it opposite. You won't get a hound's tooth. You won't get the hound's Well, we'll try that in a minute. We'll turn them around. So that's how happens. you create the um, effect. Well, you would, but you'd end up, you'd have a white hound's tooth rather than a black hound's tooth. No? Well, I'll have to keep going and I'll see what, I'll see what. Ochre is the, ochre is most popular so far, which is this one here at the front of the desk. 
It's, that colour is absolutely gorgeous. Wait, it's what mine and Hannah, one of mine it's and Hannah's favourite colours. Yeah. yeah, mine too. It's really, really nice. There it is. I didn't want to lift it up because if I lift it up, I'll waft all of Lucy's squares all off the desk, you see. <laughs> I have to start again. <laughs> Stop! So is that right now? No, sorry, it's not right. Um, Kathy, what's the matter? Oh, yes! Kathy said, please change your bottom banner. It says hound's tooth sleeve, sleeve top. I can't even say it, Kathy. From Kathy. Oh, it's Sol it's lovely in Salisbury, isn't it? Oh, it uh, does. Look down there, it says hound's tooth sleeve top. We can't, well, that's not out of our control. Who's, who's in charge of that then? Maybe put one up here. We'll just pretend. Do so what? Put one on? Just, we'll just put one on here. No, you'd wear the one. Oh, no, because it's hound's tooth. Yeah, exactly. Right. No. Oh, another message now. Leslie, morning, John and Lucy, enjoying the show, and I'm learning so much. Can't wait to have a go myself. Lots Yay. of stuff from Leslie and Kent. Oh, Fantastic. Right, OK. So, well, hang on. I'm not seeing Am I right? it. No, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Dark, dark. Oh, Mike, the cameraman's nodding, so it dark, must be right. Dark. I'm not seeing it. I can't see it yet. Okay. I think it's one of those funny perspective things. Yes, because you've got the scene You know, that you can't it, quite yeah. see it till it comes together. Go on, then. But it's there, isn't it? Can you see? Oh, and it's there. the opposite direction. It's, it's in there. the opposite direction. That's what's And there. Good. Oh, yeah, well, Tim. Hang on. No, don't worry. I'm not going to waft it. <laughs> no. No. That's different to that. Oh. <gasps> I can't go one more round. Is it upside down? Is it sideways? It, maybe it's sideways. Yeah. That looks right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Sideways. You've done it sideways. Sideways. That's why I couldn't mm. see it. All right, sorry. I think I've just sewn them sideways, sideways on yeah. the thing. OK. What's OK. Um, so now it, it, does, it just becomes patchwork. Yeah. So it was as easy as sewing four straight lines mm. and cutting them into squares and then we're just going to sew the squares together. Okay. So in the pattern it's made up of the rows so you're doing so those rows are the same yeah. and those two rows are the same. I'm just wondering could you incorporate your background colour into it anyway or would it throw the pattern completely? Yes you absolutely could. Oh. Yes and um, I did think about doing that um, if you want to incorporate the background colour, you can just change the, the strips. So you might need to do more than... So you could do like a black and white set. Yes. And then you could do another set of strips with the colour running through it. Right. And that will help create... Oh. So you could just, you know, you could have these two be different from these two or something like that. So it will, it will run like a... Okay, like so a now, strip going when through. you were laughing at me earlier and I said it's a four, a four patch. Yes. Because is, is it not? Well, that... it's not because you've got an extra row. Well, no, hang on. So you've got four patch, four patch, four patch, four patch and two borders. That's what I thought it was. Well, it doesn't really work. Like uh, what's it called? <laughs> it's not. It's just I know you're the patch. expert. It's just the whole thing is one big Yeah, patch. it's just a... 25 a, patch, which yeah, is what I said a to 25 start patch. With. Because of the... Um, because of the pattern, the way this is created, it doesn't actually repeat. Do you right. see what I mean? So if I made this block and put it next to the other block, it doesn't. It, you, you're not continuing the pattern. So you on. have to sash it basically. If you were so making it, a great big double duvet, or, or yes. making a kiddies duvet, for, oh not duvet, a uh, patchwork quilt for the bedroom, you wouldn't just be able to make the blocks and sew them together. Yeah. They'd always have to be sashed. Or like you'd this one. keep, or you keep repeating. The yes. pattern, do you see what I mean? So you'd need another set of black right. here, yes. on, you know, another row here, yeah. and then you can okay. continue. All it right, down. you start sewing those together. Okay. I'll go and do the bundles and the book, and then I'll come yeah. back and help okay. you. Okay, right. thank you. Well, if there were two sewing machines, uh, if there were two sewing machines, I could have sewn some for you. It's up to you. Okay. This is the one that uh, Lucy's made. Now, obviously, you've got enough um, 
fabric in your bundle to do twice that much. Lucy didn't finish her homework. <coughs> well, she's too busy, <coughs> excuse me, making the quilt behind her on the wall to do that one and this one. And she's got tomorrow's show to do as well. So this is the black, white and ochre. Meter of black, meter of white and two meters of the ochre. And the thread, there it is, that's that one. It's nice, isn't that's lovely. The colors in that are lovely, aren't they? Then the one next to it, We've got the deep orchid, the black and the white. You get a metre, metre, two metres. So a metre of the black, metre of the white, and two metres of the deep orchid. And then you get the thread as well, £27 and £49. Right, now look at this. We've, done, uh, we've got um, Toby to do that for you so you can see what it looked like to do the four. Um, right, let me just have a look. So there, yeah, OK. Okay, so that's what you could do with your bundle. That's what you could do with your bundle. Then the next one is the grey, the um, ivory, and the turquoise. A metre of charcoal, a metre of, of the ivory, and two metres of the turquoise, and the thread. £27.49. and 49 pence. Check out your baskets on that one. Very, very popular. And then last but not least, oh, have we got a picture of this one? Uh, so this one, you get a metre of the blue, a metre of the white, and two metres of the red, plus the red thread. And that's what you could make. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Obviously, your top border and your bottom border would be the same size. They've just cut the picture off. Only because the, what's happened is the bottom, the bottom has cut off the border at the bottom, I think, because the border should be the same all the way around. Anyway, anyway, just that's just an example. That's computer generated. We haven't sewn those. That's computer generated days. Like, uh, if I was computer generated, would I look like this? I don't think so. Runners, the book. Very, very popular, this book. <clears throat> Bed and table top booklet, twelve ninety nine. It's a brilliant little book. This is always very, very, very popular. Every time we show, what what it is as well is if you look here, they do a each pro, each project has like a bed runner and like a bolster cover, or they call it something else, don't they? So you get a bed runner, all the details there. Uh, pillow sham, that's what they call it, pillow sham. And again here, you've got the stepping stone bed runner and the stepping stone pillow sham. So you get the patterns for both of those. Dragon's lair. Nice, isn't it, that one? Then we've got the variable star. Oops. Then we've got that lovely big eight-point star wall hanging there. That's beautiful, isn't it? And then we've got the farmer's market. Is that next? There was a farmer's market in um, Mosley at the weekend. Oh, and there was a vegan festival. But oh, there's that one there. There's this one that Jane made, I said. Yeah. Okay, back to Lucy. So are you doing, oh, or your chain piece You're doing I'm columns then rather than rows. Yeah, yes. I'm sewing it in columns to make rows. <laughs> okay. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Lots and lots of uh, new buyers in today. And remember, if you buy, the first time you buy something as a new buyer, if you spy, spend £10 or over, you get this as a free gift, this rotary cutter, 28 millimeter rotary cutter worth 16 99 <laughs> That's it for real. You saw it on the pitch, that's it for real. Because uh, you, you need to know it's a 28 millimeter, not a 45 millimeter. Right, okay. So this is where I just have a little panic and Wonder, did I sew it correctly? But yes, Have you? I believe so. So 
what I've done is I sewed these in pairs, just chain piecing. So I've not stopped. Right. I've not sewn two stopped. Yes. So I've just keep going. Mm -hmm. I've sewn all of those. And then because I laid it out, I just kept that all together. I haven't cut anything. And then added this. Yeah. Column and, and then this column and now I'm going to add, add this column. column. So this is all still yeah. um, stuck, not stuck together. You yes. know. Attached. Attached. By and then threads. these little threads yes. I can cut out yeah. so that then I can um, sew the rows together. Okay. So So you don't press and go, you just you stitch it all. You no, know, I stitch it all and then you can press your rows and okay. then sew your rows, or you can just sew them and press it all okay. at the end. Depending on how many seams you have. Um, I definitely would recommend pressing your rows before you sew them together. Okay. But if it's straightforward squares and things, I don't always. It's only because uh, dressmaking, you, you iron every seam as yes. you go, such sort of things. Yeah, so. I mean, in patchwork, you're supposed to, yeah. yes. Okay, go, go on. So I'm just going to go Carry. work my way down and, yeah. and add this. So this makes it nice and quick. And I don't pin any of this, but I will pin when I come to do my um, sewing the rows together. Oh, right. yeah. okay. What you have to remember, though, is when you pick that one up, it would Which be very way easy to sew the wrong seam yeah. down, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would very much. And what are you doing with the seam seams of the stripes? Where are they going? Uh, they're just going in the direction that I pressed them, which was wrong. Oh, yeah, so you, you had <laughs> pressed them all to the dark side, so they would all be facing yes. that way. Yes, so when I, met, when I actually made it, I pressed them all to the dark side so that when it's laying on the um, wadding, you're not going to see those seams on the um, lighter side, yeah. where possible. Right. Because then when you come to sew the rows, you are going to have some seam. Yes. Could, uh, if you quilted it... Oh, you could sit in the... Uh, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait till we get to the quilting to ask that question. You can make four of these blocks out of the bundle and, the, and obviously the backing uh, from the bundle that we've made. And there are instructions... There, you know, there's the pattern for the runner and placemat. Are well. in the in the um, yeah. yeah. You, if you could, what you could do is make is just make four placemats if you wanted to. Yes, you? you could. Yeah. Well, we think you could make five placemats. I think we? you could make five. Yeah. But we don't yeah. want to say that. Yeah. We think so. So that's the the rows. Right. You have. So I'm going to go ahead and cut in okay. between them. If you've got the oak on your basket, please check out very, very, very popular. And the um, red, white and blue one, uh, check out your basket for that one as well. And then what you want to do is press the seams so the um, stripes are laying flat. Right. So you are going to have seams in the white squares doing it that way, but it's going to just help reduce that bulk of pressing it. The other way. But lovely email through Lucy. Here you go. Dear John and Lucy, it says, today's project is gorgeous. I've watched Ten Quarter every day since the start, apart from the three oh. days to get a hit replaced. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my gosh. I know tomorrow you'll be overwhelmed with good wishes, so I thought I'd get mine in today. Oh. Aw. Have a very happy birthday and many happy birthday. Love to you both. Naughty Caroline. That's lovely. Now, Thank Naughty, you, Caroline. Naughty Caroline is a retired theatre nurse. Something important, anyway. <laughs> you know, not as in the theatre, not showbiz. In the operating theatre. I'm sure... No, maybe? Oh. Yeah, Little Paul, little Paul was um, a porter years ago. Yeah, in the theatre, but he fell off the taps. Oh, well, that's the wrong joke. <laughs> Have you me. been to see um, Greatest Showman yet? No. Oh, um, Timothy went I yesterday. I need to get out more. Yes, you do. I do. And did you enjoy it, Timothy? No, obviously not. N no. He's not really musical. He's not really... Oh, he hated it because there was too much CGI in it. Oh. My, Ale my niece Alex thought the same, but then you can't really get dancing... Ele there's dancing elephants in it and everything, so you're obviously not, not going to... Oh, no, you can't do and that. It's not spoiler-alerting it at all, but the it's... 
No, exactly. You can't, no, the elef you can't have dancing elephants real, so they have to be CGI, don't they? My dad used to sing me that song. Do you know the flying trapeze? Get fly through the air with the greatest Grace of ease. Of ease yeah, yeah. yeah, you used to sing she that song. The air, yeah, 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 and I love that song. So I just wanted to go and see it because I thought it might be. But that's not in it. That's... No, no. But I thought it might be that sort of a yeah, style, you know, songs which I love. Uh, yeah. There's lots of things wrong with it. I'm not saying okay. I'm not saying it's a perfect film, but there's lots. Of, but it's you come out feeling good at the end. Yeah, and but... also Hugh Jackman. Yeah. So. Um, so now I'm just going to sew the rows. So this is where it is really important to pin. And also you can see why it's so important that we get rid of those dog ears. So yes, where I exactly. haven't quite, you can see, yes. you know, that they're, they get in the way. Um, so all I'm going to do is just, because I've ironed it that way with all the stripes going out, it's very easy to um, butt the seams Nestle up against up, yeah. each other. Yeah. Nestle, that's the right word. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're the expert. <laughs> I know it's because it's so cold. Your, your um, think box isn't working oh, properly. No, no. Oh, hello, John. Lucy, your comment on using black thread. No, Lucy said white thread, didn't you? But I said white. Lucy thread, said white yeah. thread. I said black thing. Lu uh, would the black not show the white fabric? Love all your shows, though, Lillian in Nottingham. No, uh, Lillian, she said white. On black and white, she would always use white, white. thread. And yeah. I said I was drawn to the black. Yeah. I think, um, okay, if I just show you. Yeah. So where I've got my seams, I'm, I'm generally speaking going to be pressing it away from the white, but even where I press towards the white, when you've got the seam behind it, the thread is in here. Yes. It's not here. Yes. So you're not going to see it um, through your fabric. If I press the seam open, you see like that? Yeah. On the black, you can very barely see tiny, tiny. Hang on, it's coming to you now. Yeah, ta yeah. You tiny bits it. of white. You're, you're very unlikely to be able yeah. to see it on screen, but with the naked eye, you can just about see. And so, can you see there? If I pull that seam, if yeah. I'd pressed it open and it was to pull, you would see a tiny bit of, of white. Yeah. However, I still think that shows up far less, less than black thread would on the white. Right, now my silly question, I thought it was gonna be a silly question earlier, was maybe if you quilted it with a different color, so if you were gonna do, say you were doing this, well you've done it with the oak, you've quilted with oak in here, haven't you? Have you not? Can't remember. You've yes, quilted I with have. ochre. Yes, I have. So maybe, so all your seams in ochre, mm -hmm. Then it, there's a continuity then of ochre quilting, and then if any of your threads did show there, they'd be ochre as well. Yeah. She's not. No, she, I, that, she's no, not warm into that one. I'm not. But the part of the reason is, um, I, like, I really don't think you you see the no, threads. No. I really, really don't. The only time you would do is um, maybe if you're English paper piecing, if you're whip stitching, um, or. Um, if you were pressing your seams open and it was a really contrasting yes. um, colour, but generally the darker. Okay, so, so that question, show that question is if you were doing hexes, right? Hands, yes. oh, we've only got 10 minutes, so we have to get a move on. But oh. we've, if you were sewing hand stitching hexes, you yes. know, when you do that paper piece, yes. and you had one black hexy going next yes. to a white hexy, and you know you're going to see the stitches, yeah. which one would you go for then? Okay. Then, well, if I'm English paper piecing, I never use white because white really shows up. Even if you're doing a black and white yes. together? Yes. Even if I'm using white, I still don't use white thread. Um, I, I use a tone of grey. Oh, OK. That's so, an interesting question, isn't it? Because, yeah. because if you're English paper piecing, you, don't know, you are going to see the stitching, aren't you? Yes, you are going to see the stitching. Well, that's where you go with a completely different thing and do a red or something like that. To yes. create a different look. To Karen create said. a different look, which I've just seen somebody do on Instagram and it looked fabulous. Oh, was it me? <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was not, not. you. <laughs> now, I... Yes. Yeah, look. In case you haven't got the ruler, there is a template to cut out all your triangles in the, in the book here. There it is. So that's the shape of the triangle that you cut right at the very beginning. Yeah. Mary, oh, it's gone. Mary, I've got your message. It'll come back in a second. It was Mary in Buckinghamshire. It's my birthday today. It's lovely to have Lu Lucy and John. 
You're my favourite. Oh, Mary, Aww. happy birthday. You don't ask a lady how old she is, Paul. Paul said, how old is she? How old is she? Happy birthday, Mary. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, there may be times when you're sewing that your points aren't matching perfectly. Shock horror. OK. So can you see there, this one is ever so slightly yeah. over. So I might unpick that and okay. do that one again. Can you see? You can see there. Yeah, because so it's that one, but you can't see because they're all black. That one's perfect. Cheeky. So it's up to you to decide your level of perfection. With a block like this, where you've got these lines, so it's very clear yes. if that's not meeting in the middle. Yes. But what I would do is stand back from it, and if you can't really see it, I'll see, I can still see it, but if you can't really see it, then you can just leave it as is. Go on then, shows. Yeah, there you see yeah, the there. two of the, yeah, you're it's not right, quite we, right. we do that. Bit. So I would unpick that and, yeah. no, I'm not going to now, but right. that's, what, that's what I would do. See, that right. one's perfect, but that one's slightly yeah. off. Yeah. That one's perfect, okay. that one's slightly off. So if it's, if it's off on both sides, you don't need to unpick, you can just make your seam a bit bigger. Yes. Okay, but if it's only one side that's off, you need to unpick because otherwise you're eating into Easy. this then it'd side. Then it would be uneven on the other side, exactly. then, wouldn't it? Exactly, yeah. Could you not put a button on there? Or just put a button <laughs> that on there. Or a sequin. Yeah, that would, that's the oh, easiest Mary! way. Oh, Mary! You don't... She's 65. <gasps> Did you get your bus pass? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, Mary, happy birthday, my love. Enjoy it. Enjoy yes, it, that's what I say. Yes, do. Mind you, 65 is the new 45, isn't it? I haven't got to either of those yet, so I don't know. Have you? I thought it was your 50th last week, wasn't it? Stop it. Um, a, a little point. You, uh, oh, maybe you do. I thought everyone got it the same day. When, when, did you get, when did you get your bus pass? Has your mum got her bus pass yet? Yes. And how old, did you, how old was she when she got it? I don't know. You're not saying because you don't want to give away her age? No, I can't now. remember. I'm not sure. I don't know. I've been told, Mary, that you should have got it at 60. I think it depends on your council, doesn't it? I'm not sure if it's 65. I think in Manchester it's Because my pension, I've been told I'm not going to get my, prop, my pension pension. I've got to carry on working until I'm something like 73 oh, to get my pension. I'm not going to get one until well, I'm you 90 one, or something. No, exactly. <laughs> it's right, because people will always need quilts. You'll never be out of a job. <laughs> Keeping oh, people warm. 60 nationwide. Oh. Can we get a shot? For oh, you? now you get a, sorry, you get it at 60 if you're a man or a woman. Oh, right. Uh, oh, right. 60. Yeah. Um, can we get a shot from this side? Just yeah, shot so from I this side. Sure. Can they go? Yeah, there. So on some of them, you've got a guide there because where those seams intersect, that's where oh, you want your yes. quarter inch to be coming down. Yeah. On these ones here, you don't because it's on the other side. The other side. Oh, is there isn't one. There isn't one on that side. One perfectly and one not so perfectly on that last strip. Don't pull faces at me. When Who's not sewing looking. tomorrow? Is it you? I don't know what's happening. They won't tell us I what's don't happening. know what's happening. All I know is in the first hour. We're going to be given a challenge. You're going to be given a challenge. Oh, it's me. So you're given the fabric. Right. And then in your hour off, you have to create something that I then have to remake in the last... I think that's how oh, it's working. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Oh, that one's gone a bit off. Not doing too well. No, OK, let me email very quickly. Hi, have a very happy birthday. I'm an avid follower of the programme. I enjoy it immensely. I've learned so, such a lot. Keep up the banter, John and Lucy. So entertaining. Great show as, ever, as always. Regards to everyone. Angela from Bidport. Thank you, Angela, my love. Thank you, Angela. We're having a week celebration, week-long celebration. Uh, it's my husband's... Oh, bloody, we've started something now. Uh, good morning, it's my husband's birthday today and he loves watching Sewing Quarter, especially John, and he's just made his first shirt, Sandra from Eastbourne. That's fantastic. Blimey. Well, happy, happy birthday to Sandra's husband in his shirt on his birthday. Happy birthday. Right. So, quickly, I just want to talk about the yeah, quilting, if do, I can. Do, because talking about the thread, in the book, the um, quilting was different from mine. I just did some diagonal lines. Right. Um, yeah. But in the book... What she's done is stitched in the ditch. Yes. Okay. And then she's done like a grid in the background. Oh, yes. I don't know if you'll okay. see that on the telly. No, you prob you're probably not going it's to. It's because it's black on black there. You might not see that on the telly. Take so my word for it. So she's done stitching the ditch on the houndstooth. And yes. then she's done cross-hatching 
in the... Is it still cross-hatching when it no, goes square? No, it's a grid. It's a grid. Oh, grid, sorry. Grid, yeah. It's like so just straight line, straight, yeah. yeah, straight line uh, right. grid quilting. So and you did? I've just done diagonal lines. Right. I didn't stitch in the ditch, and I just went with the um, ochre, ochre colour um, but you've also... to blend in there. But I wanted to talk about stitching in the ditch, because oh, if you were going to quilt on black and white, what colour are you going to use? Red. So you could use a, a different colour, yes. and then it doesn't really matter so much. But if I was going to quilt this stitch and ditch and I didn't want to see the quilting, yes. in the book she's actually used invisible thread, like mono, oh, okay. monofilament thread. Yes, so that it. would be one option. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have any monofilament or you didn't like using it, because no. some people don't, no. um, you could use white and then you could do the quilter's trick of where the white goes on the black, colour it in. Hang on. So you do what colour thread? White. White thread. So do all of it, then when you go over the black thread, get a black felt pen and colour it in. Co where the white thread goes over oh, the black, black. colour it in okay. with a pen. All right. And if you were using a white thread and you see it, saw it on the back with your piecing, you can colour that in. That black. Yeah, that's what we do. Okay, so you've you still go. got three so minutes. So like a permanent, a permanent pen. Yeah, obviously, not yeah. one that's going to wash out. No, no, no. And, on it, and not one that's going to like bleed or something. Yes. But, you know, a, a good quality permanent pen and just hide your stitches. Oh, okay. So yeah. can I just ask quickly then, mm -hmm. so you, you made your two blocks here, obviously you'll have enough to make four. Yes. Has she given you these measurements yes. of the Yes, so borders? all of those measurements. She, I'm saying she, yes. Sue Marsh, sorry. All Sue those Marsh. measurements um, are in the book. If you were wanting to, to um, make a quilt and make it bigger, you could do whatever you want with the sash yes. and you could yeah. cut them. I wouldn't necessarily have a, a, a bigger one in, in between them. I might have that width either side as well yes so um to, to keep make it, it more even to keep it nice even, and yeah. even yeah but it's entirely up to you how you want to i think the ochre works so beautifully with the black and white doesn't it, it? does i think it's really it, it's really modern but it's such a classic pattern isn't it and that's what's lovely what did i just say to you i don't know but you're Christine quite right says, christy hello lucy and john just hit him lucy <laughs> only joking john i know you're kidding <laughs> oh, what was i saying I have no idea. about being 50. <laughs> oh yeah probably <laughs> slap. Just no. Tell me. Oh, I had an email as well. No. Oh, long email. Here we go. Hello, John and Lucy. Loving the show. I have the book and we'll give this one a go now as I've seen Lucy's excellent demo, even the mistakes. Oh, no, she didn't put that. As always, she explains everything so well, so thank you. I wish you all at same quarter a very happy birthday for tomorrow. Hope you all have a great show and good luck with your challenge, John. I'm at work, so I'll just see it on repeat. It's my daughter Victoria's birthday tomorrow. She'll be 34. So, uh, would you wish her happy birthday? Happy birthday, Victoria's birthday, uh, Victoria, Elaine's daughter. Happy birthday. Happy for birthday. Tomorrow, for tomorrow. Uh, now, you're back in an hour. I am. Oh, was this? <laughs> no, I, I had to I, have I, a I thing there. Studio thinking, what, do you, what did she bring with her this morning? I was having in? a thing. Um, that looks very intricate. It's, there are elements that are and elements that aren't. And, and there's a lot of scope for what you can do with this pattern. I think so. That's a really fun one. Brilliant. I'll see you in an oh no, in an hour's time. <laughs> in an hour's time, I'll still be here because I've got Jennifer coming back in, in a second. Uh, right, I've got to do the um, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> um, book first. Uh, Lorraine just said brilliant, but was it Lorraine? Elaine, not Lorraine, Elaine. Uh, runners, uh, bed and top. Tabletop booklet, £12.99. Fabulous book. Lots of lovely projects in there. And also, they are transferable. So if you did want to do the block and make a big quilt out of them, you could easily do that as well. £12.99. And in that one we just did, there was a template, wasn't there? I'm sure there's other templates in there when you need them. Right. Need to check out your basket on the book, I'm being told. Right, OK. Uh, we've got the four bundles to show you. This one, you get a metre of black, a metre of white, and two metres of the ochre. And you get the ochre thread. £27.49. The Macau Solids, 100% cotton, machine washable, remember. £27.49. That's this one. Now, remember, you've got enough to make four, two of the, you know, four blocks. Four blocks. Okay. Then we've got the uh, deep orchid ones. You get a metre of black, you get a metre of white, and you get two metres of the deep orchid, 
with the deep orchid thread there, £27.49. You're getting four, basically, you're getting four metres of fabric and a thread for £27.49. Lots of those in the basket. Do you want to have a quick look at what it could look like if you made all four of those? That's just a computer-generated example, that one. Okay. Then we've got this one. I haven't got a computer-generated one of this one for some reason, but what you get in this one is you get a metre of the grey charcoal, a metre of the ivory, and two metres of the uh, turquoise, plus the thread. £27 and £49, pence. they're all giggling in the studio for some reason. No, I'm there in here, all the people in here. All the people in here are all... And the last bundle, very limited. Like the, um, got the uh, beautiful colours in here. Red, white and blue. Blue, red and white even. Uh, you get a metre of the blue, metre of the white and two metres of the red, plus the red thread. Bright red, nautical blue and antique white. £27.49. and pence. That's what we can achieve. Now... Do not go anywhere at all because Jennifer Taylor's coming up. Now, earlier she made that lovely blouse, didn't she, with lots of different uh, variations. She's going to make like a, a shirt waist, or we call it a shirt waist dress, or a, a kind of um, button through dress. It's really lovely. Uh, we've got different, oh, I've got a quick picture of it there. Quick picture. There you go. Got lots of different ginghams you can make that one out of. Um, but I've also got, as well as the dresses that she's making, We've also got patterns for other dresses. Now, the denim fabric, which is always really, really, really popular, we've got that as well coming up in the next hour, plus other lovely ginghams and checks and everything and plaids to make, uh, to make that dress out of. It's just a kind of... I think it's very much a dress you can just throw on, wear all day long, or then if you're going for lunch with the girls, chuck on a nice necklace like Lucy's got or your jewels or something like that put a different belt on it, you're going to look lovely. Anyway, we'll see you in three minutes with Jennifer Taylor and her frock. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Sewing Quarter's first birthday is on Wednesday the 31st of January and we have a week of special shows to celebrate. Finishing off the first morning of our birthday party at 11am, John and Natasha are taking part in a fun sewing challenge in the Great Sewing Quarter Sew-Off. Guest designers Lucy Brennan and Victoria Pete will guide our presenters through an hour of sewing against the clock. It's certain to be a show full of fun and laughter. Join us to see what Natasha and John will create, along with expert tips from our brilliant designers. So tune in at 11am on Wednesday the 31st of January for our first ever Sewing Quarter Sew-Off competition. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 or Sky Channel 678. As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. We are celebrating our first birthday. Sewing Quarter turns one year old on Wednesday the 31st of January and we're inviting you to join the party. Tune into Sewing Quarter for a special week filled with fun, for competitions and plenty of prizes, plus amazing guests and fantastic deals. Starting at 8am on Wednesday, Natasha and I will be together in the studio looking back at all the amazing highlights of our very first year. And we'll be racing against the clock with a special challenge for us. So don't miss our week of celebrations from Wednesday the 31st of January. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78, Sky Channel 678 and online at sewingquarter.com. Follow us on Instagram. 
Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. How's that? Is that too tight for you? Is that about all right? Okay, I'll just tie it off there. Oh, won't be a minute. Isn't, isn't it lovely? Isn't this lovely? Now, you see, the belt here, before I say anything else, the belt, you, if you, this is a little fashion tip, right? Um, this is lovely to wear loose and everything like that. If you tie it around the back, it cinches your waist in, but you can still got the lovely pull plane at the front. But you can also do it this way around, if you wanted to, do a tie, or tie at the side. You can, so many ways. Now, this is based on a, a period man's shirt. Because you see this little tab here? What that little tab is, is in the olden days, see that tab there? In the olden days, all shirts had that, all decent shirts had that. And what you used to do was the tab was here and you'd have a button on the inside of your trouser there, the same as your braces buttons on the inside of your trousers there. And you'd button, hold, you'd button your shirt to the inside of your trousers there. So this doesn't happen. So it meant it stayed like this all day long. It kept it in place the whole time. And if you look on evening shirts, you know the ones with the stiff fronts, the very, very form ones, they've still got them there for you to attach to your cummerbund on the top of your trousers. Bet you didn't know that. There you go. And let me just tie this back up. Isn't it lovely? Anyway, Jennifer's gonna make this for us in the next hour. I've got all the fabrics and patterns to show you. Hang on a sec. There we go. Oh, it's something. Suddenly gone warm. That's weird, isn't it? Oh, li little Paul doesn't care. Little Paul doesn't care about our. Um... Right. Uh, now, this is the 16 to 24. Now, this pattern also has a pattern for a hat, which I said to Jennifer, Where's the hat, Jennifer? She didn't make the hat. So, now we've done this one here. Is that D? That's option D there, because there's a sleeveless version, lovely uh, summer sleeveless version there. Oh, there you go, that one they've tied it at the front, you see. And then this version here, which I like as well for the summer. My mum used to wear these all when we were younger, used to wear something like that all the time in the summer. Uh, anyway, £8.49, uh, 16 to 24, and it also comes in. Oh, there you go, if you look at the back, you can see all the different uh, styles there. If you go to the website and look at the, look it up, it shows you the back of the packet and you can um, uh, zoom in on it and, and make it bigger so you can read the... Uh, we haven't graphics for that one. Oh, there it is, there it is. There you go. Eight pounds and 49 pence for the eight to 16 there. Brilliant, isn't it? So now I'll ask Jennifer when we go over, because that one's eight to 16 and that one's 16 to... Well, I, know, I think I know the answer. If you're a 16, if, you're, if you think you're a slightly fuller figure 16, then get the, the, the 16 to 24. And if you think you're the smaller size of 16, then get the other one. Anyway, 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 and I've got fabric. Now, the fabric that Jennifer's already made it out of is this one, which we love. Now, this isn't printed. This is woven gingham, this one. This is the navy. I've got it in navy and red. Now, this one is 3 99 for half a metre. Yeah, it's the normal width, I think, that one. There you go, normal width there. Now, it's going it's to strobe on your telly because I'll, I won't do that. I won't do that because it'll strobe on your telly. So, really, really lovely uh, woven gingham. There you go, 3 99 for half a metre. 100% cotton. Okay. I've also got that in red. Yeah, I won't, I won't waft it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to strobe at you. But again, it's the woven again. In fact, this is the one, you know, the heart-shaped quilt I showed you yesterday? Victoria Peter used this fabric in the centre of the heart, didn't she? Three nights and half a metre. Then uh, the one that Jennifer... I have to quick, have a quick look. The one that Jennifer's going to be demonstrating is this one. Pink and blue check. Gingham check there, 3 99 for half a metre again. It's lovely, isn't it? Now, that's quite a lightweight. Uh, if you're going to make the dress out of this, just be um, not aware, not aware, because it's still a good quality uh, cotton, but it's not as heavy 
as the, as the gingham. It's more of a heavy lawn, that one, I would say. It's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, and then we move on to the blue and green, same fabric, but in the blue and green, which is lovely. Fabric's flying out. Need to warn you, the fabric's flying out straight away. 3 99 for half a metre. Now, the last one is a much heavier weight fabric because I had a shirt made out of uh, this um, that Paul Clark made for me. It's, no, no, it's in the hanging... I'm not allowed to take it home. I might have to leave it here. Um, slightly... It's not that much heavier, but it's slightly heavier weight, this one. It's a bigger, a bigger check, a bigger plaid, that one. I'd say that was plaid rather than the other was gingham, wasn't it, really? 3 99 for half a metre. Works beautifully, washes up well. Because remember the day I wore it on the show, wore the shirt on the show? I um, obviously wore the shirt all day, so I took it home to wash it before I put it back in the stock here. Washes up really, really... This one, this one, I, I can only talk about that one, but that one washes up really, really well. OK, let's go, let's go. Now, you'll see other dresses behind Jennifer. They're not this pattern, but I will tell you more about them in a little while. So I'll just put her there. Just put this there. Mandy. It's Mandy the mannequin. Oh, Mandy oh the I've mannequin. decided it. Mandy on wheels. Mandy on tit wheel. Uh, so it's gorgeous, but what are you going to show? I thought you were looking at your watch then. Um, well, get on with it, John. <laughs> what technique? <laughs> What Come on, John. <laughs> what techniques are you going to show? What shows? techniques? Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the plaquette. Yes. Um, definitely. Right. And then I'm going to try and show you how to do the collar if we have time. Okay. I think well, that, I won't talk so much. Th so. Those are the more complicated parts of the pattern. Right. Um, but other than that, it's a cinch. It's quite cinch a simple pattern, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right then. Okay. So um, when you got your fabric. Yes. <laughs> and your pattern. And your pattern. And these are pins. And these are pins. Uh, where am I? Yes. Um, make sure you give your fabric a wash. Definitely give it a wash because of the way that it's been, obviously, in the warehouse, it's been pressed. And um, when you first put it together, your, um, your plaid, if you like, uh, will be off. Yes. Okay, so you, it's because it's a woven thread. It's not a printed fabric. It is woven. So just put it in the wash, get all of that manufacturing starch out of it, and then you'll be good to go. Yeah. So that but would give be it a good tip. press. Give it oh, a good totally, press give, totally give yeah. it a good press. Um, but, but this is a rule of thumb for any fabric you get. Um, yeah. But especially with this one, because you look at it, you'll be like, why are my um, lines not marked? Yes. And it's just yeah. the way it's been stretched and pulled and pressed, all right? So make sure you give it a really and good And also, wash. if you think about it, when it's in the warehouse, it's wound round and round yeah, and round. So yeah. it will have been not pulled out of shape because it'll come back into Well, it's a weave, isn't it? It's yes. a weave. So there's, it, it's n there's nothing wrong with the fabric. It's just the way that, it, like you say, it's been rolled and transported and all of that. And obviously, the, the starch that goes in to give it that nice clean press so just like the general rule of thumb and especially with anything like this especially with it being like a cotton definitely give it a wash anyway because of the shrink factor yes, exactly and the last thing you want to do is spend all of that time matching up all your beautiful plaids and then washing it and then it just doesn't work because it's all out of shape exactly. all right so definitely give it a wash okay brilliant. right then so because we're doing a dressmaking show and because we're going to be doing quite a complicated bit i am going to go through our pattern very quickly Good. i apologize if you've heard me say this before no, but i think I it's no. always important that we go through it and um, now this is actually on the fold so this is my little cheat to get quicker all right right and um, but it is on the if this pattern is on the fold at the moment but you would obviously at home cut it out splayed open but right. you can clearly see that it is a mirror image of on the left or right hand side yes. okay so it's just for me to, to so if you if you're struggling with cutting out space then a tip with me would be especially the front piece yes fold it in half right okay? where's, your, where's your fold then so my fold is down here right okay oh so in reality your fabric before you cut out, your fabric came carried on up carried here. Carried on yeah, all the way funny, out. Funny, so funny. When, when I've taken the pins off and explained the notches, I'll open out the pattern so right. you'll see exactly what I'm Brilliant. talking about. Um, so the real part of the detail is this section here. You've got um, three dots. When in reality, it's six. Okay. So you yeah. can see that I've got my yellow threads in there, which I've done a few tailors tacks. Okay. Um, pockets. You've got positions for pockets. So you want to know where they need to go yeah. as well. So I've got those there. Let's go again. Yeah. Now, would you tailor tack those, or would you, once it's made and you've made your pockets, 
just measure where they're needed. How would you I do would that? I would tailor tap them. Yeah. However, what I would also do is is before you attach the pockets, just pop it against your body and actually, do I want my pockets to well, be yes, there? Yes. Yes. Um, again, because it's it's your it's your body and mm -hmm. you might want them in different well, positions. Well, everybody's bits are in different in different places. places aren't absolutely. They? Yes. So um, this is this is the instructions for where to put your pocket if that's where you want yes. it to be. So put the tailor stack in there, and if you're not happy, you can always move it. Yeah. Um, You've also mentioned about the little tab at the, mm -hmm. at the base of what would be the waistline. So you can see exactly what John was talking about here. So this line here. Oh. Hey, come in. It's coming. I promise you they're coming. There you go. This little line here with the circle and the crosshair, that's indicating where the, your natural waistline. So this isn't where your jeans sit. No. Um, this is where the smallest part of the waist is. But as you rightly said, Back in the day, there would have been a tab there attaching it to the waistline. So this is what we're talking about. So you've got these little numbers here. So this is the difference between your pattern size and what the actual finished garment is. So this is backwards at the moment. I was going to say, I've got, back to, I've I've got it on the, thinking I can't read got it, that. Got it, on, <laughs> got it on the fold. Yes. So another little tip would be to check your waist versus what the finished pattern size is yeah. to make sure whether you want to go up or down a size anyway for comfort. Well, also, that's, <clears throat> that's what we're saying. is like uh, it, what the, one pattern goes up to a 16, then it sort of starts at a 16. The actual patterns will be the same 16. They'll both be the same. But if you want a little bit more room, then you could go for the bigger one. Bigger rather size, yeah, exactly. So um, lengthening and shortening. So if you are short or longer in the body, then this is the position that you need to be moving yeah. that. And then if you want your garment to be longer, if I just bring you all the way down here, yeah. you've got another lengthen and shorten line here. So if you want to lengthen your dress, you can do it here. Don't yes. do it from the waistline. Yeah. Okay, so you've got another line here. And very similar, that's on the hip line. So you can see we've got three points of reference. We've got a hip line down here. We've got the waistline up there, and then we've got the bust up here. And also, that hip line there is, there are two different hip measurements. One that's three inches down from the waist, and one that's eight inches down from the waist. The three inches down is your hip bone, and the eight inches down is this, isn't it? Which is the biggest, I don't know why I turn it like that. Which is the biggest Ooh, part of your bottom, and that's what, that, where that line is there. Okay, brilliant. So the, the big thing about your pattern, especially with this one, um, is getting all of your notches. So that's your circles, your triangles, all in the right place before you take your pattern off. Otherwise, you'll be like, what am I doing? Why is that matching up? They're there to help you. Exactly. And the Carrie Ann says, could I make this shirt dress from a stretchy fabric? Some of us need a bit of stretch. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, I can't see any reason why not. Um, just, just check on your stretch, though, because if it's, if it's a good stretch, then you might want to knock your pattern down. Yes, exactly. If you're, um, you, and also, if you're used to using stretch, because you've got buttonholes to do and everything like that, haven't you? Mm. So uh, don't do, do it. Do presters instead. Sorry? Do you press We could do, that? or don't do it as your first jersey or stretch fabric oh, yeah. project. Do a, do a simple top like the one that like Jennifer did earlier. Oh, yeah, that'd be To perfect. get used to working with jersey. Don't make it as a first jersey or stretch fabric no, no. Uh, project, that's all. Okay, so I'm just going to open up the pattern for you. So this is yes. what it does look like. And in the instructions, oh, yes. it will tell you to cut it out open like, like that. that. So mine was just purely a time-saving and a space-saving device. Yes. I've just folded it directly in half, making sure I can see through the pattern, so I've made sure that my all of these circles are overlaying each other, so every notch was in the same place, okay? Yes, so exactly. it is a mirror image, don't panic, but in the instructions, it tells you to cut it out yes. in full. All That's right? weird, isn't it? Because you'd think it'd be more precise to do it your way, because when you put it out like this, You've yep. got more You've got more notches. area to cut. Yeah, and yeah. More Whereas your way, it's lying flat on the fabric, your flat fabric's lying flat, yeah. and you've only got to cut like once, really. Yeah, exactly. You? And also from a notch point of view, I'm having to do all of these notches singularly, whereas if I fold the, it, oh, the pattern over in half, I'm doing it all in, in a one -er. Yeah, in your so table tax, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a time saver and a space saver okay. if you haven't got a big table like we have. And the pattern comes with seam allowance, obviously. Yeah, everything <clears> comes <throat> in seam allowances. Okay, all right, so that's how it looks like when you get home. Okay. All right. So that's that bit done. Let's move that out of the way. So I've done my tailor's tacks. So I'm just going to peel these away. OK, so just to explain at home, you're doing the placket here. The rest of the dress would be there. Yes, yeah, so, so it's just a different version. So you can lengthen. So here, this is that version A where you've actually added oh, a different okay, one. OK, OK, got confused. So, th so this is this one. Mm -hmm. I wonder why it was so short. That oh, was all. Right, okay. 
So that's that version we're doing yeah. now. That's why, because I was thinking, oh, where's, where's the rest where's of the, the skirt? Where's the However, tail? However, you can make it into a shirt if you wanted to. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to have make it into a dress. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant. Sorry. Sorry to no, it's a good, good question. Okay, so the tail is tacked there. I'm just going to separate those very gently because these are the, the really are the building blocks for this section. Just make sure you don't cut your fabric and you are just cutting your tack. So that's that bit done. Okay. Yeah. So I think out of the whole thing, that's the scariest bit because yes. you're cutting into the front of yes. your, your garment. Whereas obviously when you're making a blouse, you'd go all the way down, yes, wouldn't exactly. you? Whereas with this, we're, we're cutting halfway through it. So these are our plaquettes. Okay, so oh. we've got two of those. Yeah. So we've got one, two. Now I have interfaced those, so that's going to give you some nice structure down the front. So you will need to grab some of that. Right. <laughs> Can you get it? I'm going to thought I had interface, I haven't got an interface. <laughs> okay. Right, so on the pattern here, yes. it does say one is the full length with these little triangle bits at the bottom. Yeah. And then the other side, it's saying cut here for the left hand side. Right. Now, if you're anything like me, I get a bit cuffled when it comes to left and right. So don't cut it yet. But what right. I have done is marked both of them. Oh, okay. clever. All yes, right. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct the right hand side first and then leave the, uh, sorry, we're going to construct the left hand side first. Let me just check my, check my uh, destruction. Yeah, you have right. a moment. Having a moment, people. That's all right. While you're waiting, I'll show you the interfacing. Thank you. Ah. There's the interfacing that Jennifer's used. Get my instructions on the desk. <laughs> okay, you can. Yeah, you can. It's two ninety nine. I think it's the left, but my other sheets in the other room. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's do it and see where we go. <laughs> uh, I think it's the. Hold on, hold on. So a little rule. It's right over left because women are always right, but unfortunately men are always wrong. So it's right over left. So I'm constructing the left-hand side first. Okay. Thanks. I'll check that. They're, they're turning you... your microphone off upstairs now. Are they? Yeah. No! Yes, left-hand side, I was yeah. right. Don't so the left-hand side is the bit that goes underneath, Under. underneath the button. So yeah. on shirts, on women, it's the right-hand side that goes over. Yeah, because that's what I was just looking at here, because mine Whereas obviously goes, the, the left goes On a gentleman's shirt, is on the left. So my little r rhyme to remind myself yes. of that, same with zips. Women are always right, so we go over the top. That's, that's okay. the rule. So I'm doing the left-hand side first. So this is my shirt front. Front, yeah. So this so is your left-hand side. So it's this side that I'm doing first, and we've got a little notch here. Right. Okay. Pattern, yeah. Got a little notch there. So this is where I need to go and grab my um, plaquette. So find a notch. So I've got a notch here. Yeah. So I know that this is the left hand side. So now I know this is the left hand side. I now can cut it. Right. But don't cut it until yeah, you're done. Yeah, that. I see what you mean. It's yeah. so silly, really silly. But the last thing you want to do is have to cut out the piece again. So I know this is the right side because these two notches match now. Whereas if I put this one on, the notch is on the other side. Yes. All right. So now I can cut that off. At the dotted line that you've marked. At the dotted line that I've marked. So then on the other side, you're just going to ignore that, aren't so you? So ignore that. Yeah. And that gives you that nice little point yes. there. Brilliant. Okay. Right, so the first thing we're going to do, now I know that that's the left-hand side, I'm going to pre prepare my fabric. So I'm going to do a stay stitch in that section there first. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And will that stay? It's just a little round the, round the bottom of the, the placket hole. Would that be um, staying in or will that come out? That will stay in. Okay. And you're doing it inside the seam allowance or on the seam? So it's on the seam allowance. So this is a 1.5. One, uh, 1. So it's where the notches. The notches will tell you where you need to sew. Yeah. And it's a 1.5. And this is all in the, in the instructions? This is all in it? the instructions. So I've sewed to my first tailor's tack. I'm just pivoting that round now. Do, 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 do. Going across to the other one. Needle down, rotating, and then just finishing that up. There you go. So it doesn't need to be a really big stitch. It's just what we're really interested in here is those corners. Yeah, and you didn't reverse at the end. You just literally did a straight just stitch. Just straight out. off, yeah. yeah. Okay. The, the reason why we're doing this stay stitch is what we're going to do now is go in with our snips, and we're going to cut right up to 
that stitch point. So that's... It's, it's always frightening. It is well, frightening. It? So the key is nice pair of scissors yeah. with a nice sharp tip and make sure you don't cut your stay stitching. Yeah. Okay. And that's giving our ability now to start pivoting our, our fabric. Yes. Okay, so again, I'm grabbing my left piece because I know that now because I've cut, it, cut off. it off. Yeah. Right sides together at the point of reference, which is our little notch on the side. Okay. And I'm going to stitch down towards on our pattern piece. It's got a little dot there, but it's yeah. also that tailor's tap there. So I'm going to stitch down and all the way up. Only to that point? Only to that point. And you've matched, have you matched your checks when you were cutting it out? I have tried to match my checks yeah. as much as possible. So if I just peel that back. Yeah. But you can never match the, the going, ones going up and the ones going across. It's always best to match the ones going across. In this case, yes. 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 In this case, yeah, with this fabric. Yeah. Yep. So I haven't pre-washed washed my fabric. So I probably have the, sh the shifting that yes, I was talking yes, about. Exactly. All right, so again, it's always worth doing the, um, the wash first. This uh, fabric that Jen's using, it is the most popular. If you've got it in your basket, please beware. And the second one is the one that Jennifer's already made it on the one behind. Okay, so I'm stitching. Uh, I have not done dressmaking since I was younger and helped my mum. Is this a good project to start with and how much fabric do I need for D? So you can ask, answer the question, is it a good project to start with? And, oh, and what size, uh, what size, Jamie, my love? You've not said what size you need. I'll go, I'll go through the sizes for D. Um, with the fabric we've got here today, uh, the most you'd need is three and a half metres and the least you'd need is two and a half metres if you've got the smaller sizes. So it's... it's Two and a half metres up until 14, mm -hmm. three metres up to 20, and three and a half metres up to 24. That's, this is D here. Okay. Uh, so I hope that helped, Jamie, because you didn't put your size right. Right, sorry. Okay, um, is this a good project for a beginner? Yeah. It is a good project, but if you're going to ask me to choose between this morning's and this one, I would definitely say your raglan is the super, super, super easy one. But if you're a little bit adventurous and you've got a bit of, let's get started, yeah. then you, are, you, are, you can definitely do this project. Yes. If you've done dressmaking on... before, she's done dressmaking when she was oh. younger. Yeah, oh, you'll be fine with this. Uh, you'll be just... fine with both. You'll yeah. be absolutely fine with both. It's just, it depends on how adventurous you want to be with yes. it, really. Uh, size 10 in the D. Uh, in this fabric, two and a half metres you'd need to buy, my love. Okay. Right. Right, so the next step with the plaquette is what we're going to do now. So we're going to fold this fabric up and then we're going to place it behind itself. So we're pr what you're going to do is go with the iron and press, but this time you're going to fold it back like so. Yeah, let's get the iron out, it'll be easier. Do you want to do it there in the yeah, middle? Yeah, I think it'd be easier. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just press my seam allowances under. Yeah. Okay. So that's that bit done. And then I'm going to press this over, across, okay, yeah. across. So that's going to do your seam allowance under the other side. Also, it's best to do the left-hand placket first anyway, because it's the one that's going underneath, so you can have a practice on this Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Because it's not the one that's going to be on the top being seen. Okay, so in, if I just open the placket up very quickly, you can see you've got a little um, mark there. That's yeah. one of my other tailor's tacks. So if you're doing the tailor's tack, you'll see it. But in this case, I've used the quick method with, the, uh, with my pen. Yeah. So I'm just going to poke my pin through that section and then peel it back. So I know that that's where that needs to go. Yeah. So it's, do you see how it was marking up with my yellow tailor's tack? Yeah. yeah. And then the last tack is up here. Again, I've got another little dot here. This is telling me where the, oh. the little dot there. That's telling me where the center of that is at the very top. So again, we've got a point of reference there. So once I know where that is, we can pop a little pin in. And then again, go in with your Do you wear this top to do sewing in your she shed? Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Right, let me just check. I've, I've, I've lost my um, head today. I really have lost my head. I've done all that wrong. Fair. 
Right, okay, sorry. Ignore yeah. folding that under. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, this is totally my fault. Yeah. Ignore folding that under. No, I think, I don't, no, no disrespect to you, but I think this is good because people at home be thinking, oh, Jennifer, she's so brilliant, I could never <laughs> do this. Do, but do you know what I mean? Even, <gasps> I know this is an odd situation that you're having to make a dress in front yeah, of yeah. a thousand people <laughs> and me with turn on, but I think it's quite no, nice no, you that are even right. you Absolutely. can go, no, well, don't, don't that do wrong. it like that. This is this how, is you, how do you do it. it. I just think, it, I think it shows you're human, basically. It's true, this is very true. Right, so... Everything I've showed you is correct, apart from the very, very first bit. So yeah. the bit that I tucked under, don't tuck it under. And the reason we is because we're going to stitch that in. Right. All right. So yeah. the folding back, making sure that that, in this case, my little um, water erasable mark, that bit there, yeah. matches up with my tailor's tap, which in this case is in yellow. So those bits do need to go together. And yeah. you can see I've got that extra bit there. Yeah. What I'm now going to do, it's folding that bit back. That's the bit that I want to fold right, back. Okay. And what we're going to do is stitch down. You see where those two points of reference is? You've got a little brown dot there. Yeah. And you've got a little brown dot there. Yeah. You're going to sew towards that, but don't go past it. Because if you do, you're going to start sewing into sections we don't want to sew exactly. in. So it's literally from the fold all the way to that dot. And you can see that I've already folded back that part of the seam yes. allowance. OK, that's what I needed to that's do. That's good. So sorry about that, guys. Don't apologize. I think it's because I'm hungry. You know, you, you, yeah. your mind goes. I must, be I'm a, I must be hungry all the time, then my mind's never there. Okay. So that's that bit done. Finally. So we can trim this back now. So I'm just going to trim that seam allowance there. So what's that doing is giving us a really clean bottom to the base of our left plaquette. So I'm just going to fold that under. Oh, you don't it. need it. You shouldn't need it. So then what that allows it to do, if I pull that out flat again for you, my cut, my pivot, allows me to put that seam allowance into the inside of the plaquette and it's given us that, that edge there. Can yeah. you see that? And the key to this shirt is press, press, press. Every that, that's stage. That's what I was saying to, to Lucy, because we just did a quilt where you don't press after a nice in dressmaking, you press after every single Everything. manoeuvre, don't you, really? Yeah. OK, so that's that side done. Yeah. OK, so that's given us a nice clean edge on the inside of our shirt. So now it's about doing the right-hand side. So what, do, do you just leave that... Does that get stitched? So it depends on what finish you want. Now, yes. I'm really getting into my hand finishings now, and it's a beautiful couture way of finishing off your, uh, your garments. So you could just stitch it down if you want, as per the instructions. Yeah. But I would go in and do either a ladder slip or a stitch, slip stitch. It would be an invisible stitch, so you wouldn't see any of yes. that. So that ha that's how I would finish okay. it. Because people right. at home would be wondering if you just left it, wouldn't they? No, yes. Yeah. So you, could, you could just leave that and do that later if you wanted mm -hmm. to, or you could go in and do machine stitching now. Yeah. If you wanted to fold under less than the 1.5 seam allowance, you could probably get away with stitching in the ditch in there yes. and then catching the other side. But I folded back the 1.5 because in my head I'm going to hand finish that. It, yeah, All right. right. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side. Which is the side that folds over. Which will fold over. That's so right. in essence, that one that you've done is the one that's going to have the buttons sewn on it. Yes, this is the button. That's the one where yeah. the, that's the button wrap. This so is the buttons the bu are yeah, going to yeah. go along there. And then the one you're going to make now is the one that folds that over folds and will have the over. button holes that's on That's right, it. yeah. Okay. So before we um, a attach that, what I'm going to do is do the next step, which is pressing in. There's actually a little pleat in the very centre of that plaquette. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Which is, again, a, has come from... A man's traditional shirt, yeah. that always has a little pleat there. A little pleat in yeah. the front. So we need to do that first, and we're going to put a little stitch in there just to keep it in place before we get on with okay, the Okay, brilliant. Uh, Lisa from Greater Manchester says, at home we would be sat down concentrating on the pattern and not having to explain what we're doing. You always do great demonstrations, oh, thank Jennifer. thank you. Thank you very much. They're flooding so, all the so, love for Jennifer's flooding so in today. They're so kind, though. Really, you really are, guys. Thank you. Oh, no. Jamie. Unrelated to the topic, I think I'm addicted to sewing cord to the point where you popped up in my dream last night, John. Oh, was it a nightmare? 
We are all brilliant. Thank you, Jamie. Oh, thank you. Right then, so what we're going to do is create that lovely pleat in the front of our, our garment. So yeah. it's, it's these two dots that I'm working towards now. So you had these ones on the edges there, which told us where to clip to, where to yeah. do our stay stitching, where it's this one and this one. And in the pattern, it's telling you to bring the ones that are closest to me over to that one. So you're just making a little knife pleat. You're making you, really? a knife pleat, that's it. So again, with your nice hot iron, you're going to go in with that. And you're not ironing, you are doing a press. So you want to make sure you've got that down and give it a nice shot of steam. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go in and put a stitch in there. I'm right. going to extend my stitch length so I can pull it out later. So again, if you want to go and change your bobbin thread oh, so it makes it easier. Stitch. It's not going to be just, seen. I'm just going to stay stitch okay. it down, all right? So if, you, if you're like old-fashioned like me and do hand tacking, that you just hand tack it You could just down. hand tack yeah, that yeah, quickly. And yeah. um, if you want the pleat to stay in because you want it to be um, sharper, cleaner for longer, then what I would suggest doing, if you peel back... You can see where you've pressed in. You could actually just go and stitch in that with a permanent stitch. So all I'll do, because I've opened it out, I'll do that now. Okay, okay. So that's just to hold the, just hold the, the, whole pleat, uh, the, the knife pleat in place, isn't it? P but, it will, but you don't it, see anything. No, but it will be permanent. That will yes, be a permanent yeah. stitch. But you only need to do it down a little bit like that. Oh, yeah, about so, no more than about an inch. Yeah. It's halfway through the show now. Okay, so that's a permanent one. So if you're going to do a temporary one, you could just do it as it's laid open like it was before. Yeah. And you just pop a little stitch line in there. Whereas yes. this one now is going to give you that I constant... I think that's a good idea because it's also giving the bottom of the placket more stability, it isn't does, it? Because yeah. the bottom placket takes a lot of pressure and uh, tension. Oh, definitely, back. absolutely. So that's quite nice. And though. also where I've stitched will be covered with the point yes. of the bottom of my placket anyway, yeah. okay. Whereas this one hasn't got a stitch in. You can see I can get my finger right into that yep. section there, that into that knife pleat, whereas that's where the placket is. So if you're going to do yep. the permanent one, you won't see the stitch. But it just, just it makes that more prominent. That will last a lot longer. Yep. OK, so that's that bit done. So now it's the other side. So that's yep. this one here. Yeah, I was keeping them all safe for you. Thank you very much. OK, so notch on this side, notch on that side. We know it's the right one because we've done yeah. that little test. And this one's got the ad added tab at the so bottom. So this one you know one, you've yeah. got the tab in. So the first thing I'm going to do is exactly the same as the other one. I'm going to go and stitch all the way down until that point of reference, okay. only that reference. While you stitch that, don't do anything else. I'm just oh, going right. to do fabric because one that we've got a stock um, warning on one yep, of them. Yep, sure, so no I'll problem. Just, but don't do anything else, don't do anything else. Right, this one. The one that I've got my shirt out of that Paul made, not little Paul, obviously. Half the stock of that one's gone. Over half the stock of that one has gone. Lots of you got that in your basket. Three pounds and 99 pence, navy and red, heavy cotton check fabric. Now, uh, it's a heavier, but don't, don't be thinking it's like, um, don't be thinking it's like a lumberjack shirt. It's not that thickness. It's still shirt weight, but it's like heavier than, than these fabrics here. That's the most popular fabric so far, 399 half a meter. Pink check next, one that Jennifer's sewing at the moment, demoing with. 3 99 for half a metre. Three ninety nine for the pink and blue gingham check. Lots in the baskets. Right, next will be the navy gingham. That's on the dress behind that Jennifer's already made. That's, they're all woven. These are all woven uh, ginghams. Then we've got the red um, gingham. You see, now I think, if, like Jennifer's saying, if you cut it off halfway down and make a shirt, this would be nice as a shirt, wouldn't it? Wear that with your best denim jeans. Do it with the old-fashioned, um, uh, you know, the tail, the, coat, the, the shirt tail. Look really lovely, untucked, wouldn't it? Three ninety-nine. And then last but not least, we've got the blue and green check. And then I'll just show you the patterns quickly after this. OK. And then patterns very, very quickly. These are different patterns I've got there at the moment. I'm sorry. There you go. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's it. 8 to 16 there. 8 pounds and 49 pence. Exactly the same pattern, but in the larger size. 16 to 24. 
What I've also got on my table is, you know, we've had, I'll show you this one. Uh, the dress is behind Jennifer in the denim. Um, are these here? Uh, I've got some of the denim as well. I've got some of the denim. Uh, there's two patterns. There's this one here. Again, in the two size ranges there. That's the one that's behind Jennifer on Jennifer's right hand shoulder. Yeah, I won't show them now. I'll show them when I go over very quickly. There's, and there's the other pattern. Sixteen to twenty-four, and then the other one behind Jennifer is this one. I love this pattern. I think it's got a vintage, a lovely nineteen late uh, late forties, early fifties vintage feel to it, hasn't it? Look, it's the uh, oh, that they call that one a shirt dress as well. It looks more of a, a glamour dress on the pattern, doesn't it? And then the larger size that was the eight to sixteen. Well, that's just it, you see, fashion drawing, those waists, those ladies' waists will be about 14 inches. That's the problem with, they're about six foot seven tall and they've got about 14 inch waist. And then the denim fabric here for to make that dress out of. This is lovely. This is eight ounce denim, really, really gorgeous for making those dresses. And this, whenever I show this, whenever we show this, it flies out the door. Eight ounce, you only need to know it's eight ounce. Eight ounce, that's what you need to. 150 centimetres wide, 60, uh, 60 inches wide. Oh, very quickly, I've got an email and then we'll go back to Jen. She's got lots to do, so very quickly. Uh, hi, everyone at Sand Quarter. I've just discovered your channel. I'm so excited. I've decided this year's the year I'm going to start quilting. Woo! Well done, Jenny. Uh, Jenny, you'll find there's so much more than quilting here because obviously we have the dressmaking, we have toy making as well. It's fantastic. Right, sorry, Jennifer. Right, okay. So before we attach the right hand side part of the placket on we need to do a bit of sewing first so again it's all about this detail we actually need to get that sewn in before we even get anywhere the near, little tab at the bottom yeah before yeah, we get yeah. anywhere near the garment yeah. so we've got our three points of reference here we've also got a dot down there and again we know which side we're attaching because i've got my little notch here yeah. so the first thing i'm going to do you can see that i've already gone ahead and stay stitch can you see that side oh i could hear you stitching something. so that stay yeah. stitch down there and the reason being is we're going to cut into the sides of our plaquettes again. So this way again, you need nice sharp scissors all the way to the point. So again, we, we are cutting right towards that stitch line, but we are not cutting the stitches. Yes. All right, so you need to do that ahead of time. Okay. And then we need to go again with the iron and press oh, the right okay. size together. I've, I've, every time I've already done it. Well, get the iron ready. It's already I've already done it. Okay, so you can see that we've got um, it folded in half, and this is where our points of reference come into play. Okay, yes. so I believe I need to stitch all the way down Yes. around and then to that point So you're there. basically bagging out the little tab. You are bagging out the little yeah. tab. So I'm going to go ahead and do that okay, now. Okay, brilliant. Um, so wonderful to have a dedicated sewing channel. Excellent presenters and specialists. Uh, that's from Carol and Kent. Thank you, Carol, Thank my love. You. Uh, morning, John and Jennifer from June. Happy birthday. So caught you so much more than the shopping channel. I feel like you're my friends in the living room. Do you know what? That's exactly that's what so we wanted true. right from the beginning, it wasn't is. it? It's what we said. Because Jennifer's been here right from, she was here before me. I'm actually right gutted that I'm not on the birthday yes. show tomorrow because I did the first show. You did. I'm gutted. Well, you were here before me, weren't you? And I was, yeah. Not that that's anything, you know, but, but Jennifer's been here right from the roots right. of it, you know. Well, that. when we were just doing tests yeah. and making sure it was all good. So, um, I've You're in on Monday on the birthday week, though, aren't you? I You're am, I mean, on yeah, Monday, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm here for birthday day, definitely. So I've, I've gone ahead and stitched all the way around, so now I need to just trim that back. Yeah. So at the points, we're just going to mitre those. And again, just watch your... So I'm clipping all of that back. So we will need Derek the Dobber now, definitely. If Natasha's still poorly tomorrow, mm -hmm. you could take, take Natasha's job. <gasps> oh, where are you going? Derek the Dobber. Oh. So we want Derek the Dobber. I thought you were ringing your agent <laughs> then. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. I'd like to give it a go one day, but not real, not You'd for real. you brilliant. No, but it's the, it's, I don't know how oh, no, you, you, you I don't. Oh, no, you wouldn't have a little poor in your ear all the time. But it, it, I don't think people realise that you've got somebody in your ear the whole time. But it's not only the poor, I've also got, you also have the director, you've got Timothy in there as wow. well talking. It's, it, yeah. And Hayley, because she's always in the blooming gallery going up giving them notes <laughs> and things. So right. there we have our little tab all already 
and crisp and ready to go. Yeah. Okay, so that bit's done now. So now once you've done that, then you can start going yes. back to your... Uh, this is what I love about this fabric as well, is um, it's such good quality cotton that when you do press something <gasps> like that, you dream. get your lovely... How many times have you had to make, you've been given a project by somebody to do, and the fabric's not up to scratch, and you make that little tab, and it's all like Little. limp and horrible, exactly. whereas this is, you know. It's nice and crisp, isn't it? Oh, uh, John and Jennifer, love the pattern, but would prefer it as a shirt. Where would you shorten it, says Sue. Um, if we have to... Oh, have you got, have you got, got the pattern piece still there? Yeah. I'd like to answer questions. So this is the front of the pattern. Let's just move it out of the way super quick. Yep. So here's, right, our, right. here's our pattern. Okay. So at the so we've got our plaquette here. We've got yep. our waistline. So what I would suggest doing on, on yourself is where your natural waist is measured down and you yes. can create your own line. However, this is a good little tip. This is where your hip line should be. Yes. So as long as the distance between here and there are the same, so this is where you need to get your tape measure yeah. out. It's usually you, eight inches. Usually eight usually inches. Usually eight inches. It says here, cut here for A. Yes. That is literally going to be sitting on your hip line. So if that's where you want your shirt to finish, just yes. go with the cut line A. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. But then what you could also do is if you want the, like I just said, because at the bottom of the dress, you've got the old you want fashion. The if you want the, the kind of tail, the shirt tail on it, you literally just fold fold it up like that. So you can have it with a straight, if you do cut it off at the line where they say, tell you to cut it mm -hmm. off, then you'll have a straight line. Yep. But then what you do is you can just fold it upwards like this. What all you have to do is just uh, grade, 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 it grade, grade in that line so that's a smooth line at the side there. Then you can make a shirt with the shirt tails mm -hmm. as well. But there's, look, that's what that line is for there. But you need to make sure that that measurement from that point to that point is your eight inches. Yes. Okay, right. Thank you for the question, Sue. Good Carry question. On. Another method that I would do, and this is this, oh, is, go. this is going off piece, um, is when you're cutting out your... Once you're happy with the length of it, so you know that the, the bottom part of your scallop is where it needs to finish. So cut a straight line. Yeah. But then fold the fabric in half. So this is the centre of your body yeah. here. And go in with your ta uh, your um, French, curve. French curve and do your own. Oh yes, yes, yes. You could do. You, you could, just, could totally you could just do, do it. So if totally you do, if do you're that. folding it on half, then it will be symmetrical on both yeah, sides. Yeah. And then what you can then do is take that piece that you've cut off and flip it onto your back piece, and then that way you know your side seams will also match exactly. as well. So the scoop exactly. will be the same on the front yeah. and the back. There's so many different ways of doing it, isn't it, yeah. John? That's what I oh, love. Oh yes, because on a traditional man's shirt, the back is much back longer, is longer that's right. than the front. Oh, so you have tuck to tuck it in. Right, we've only got 40 minutes. Uh, hello, could you tell me how wide the red gingham fabric is? I think I've, I've just got to measure it. I'll double check for you, my love. No, I think it was 42 inches, but I'll, uh, usually 112 it is, isn't it? I haven't oh. used that one, so I don't know, I'm afraid. Oh, that is a can see the tape measure. You carry Can, on, Jennifer, sure? while I measure, measure for Phyllis. Right, I'm just going to put my plaquette together now, so it's still matching up exactly the same notches that we had on our other side, on our left-hand side. We're just repeating now with our right-hand side. It's um, 114, this one, 23, oh, just almost, uh, 40, almost 46 inches. So, so I'd say 45 inches, 45 inches, the, the red gingham. I hope that's okay for this. Right, carry on. Yep, so I'm just doing the same stitch as we did the first time round now. Yeah. So we're just repeating uh, the left-hand side on the right-hand side. Yeah. Making sure I'm not staying over my pins, don't go over the pins. This is where it does get a little bit tricky because right. obviously you've already stitched in the pointy part of your uh, plaquette, haven't you? Yeah. So you're going to have to um, peel back a little bit because you don't want to sew anything other than to the point of reference, which would be course. our tailor's tack. So this is the bit I'm talking about. So this is wanting to be underneath my sewing foot and I don't want it there. So don't be afraid to take it out of the way and actually physically move this forward. Yeah. And then what that will do, That's I'll just it. move my shirt out of the way. Oh. You see how it's giving me the space yeah. now and I can clearly see where my point of reference is. So don't be afraid to, to move the fabric out of the way because it wants to be over here, but then it's making this very difficult in this section here. Yeah. So just peel back and then sew towards my little dot there and I'm going to do a little back stitch. Okay, and that bit is done now. It's all done. Okay. So the last thing we need to do now is do the flip and dip, as you like to, as I'm going to call it. So I'm just going to clip that bit back. So again, similar to this one, we need to get all of this inside of the plaquette, don't yeah. we? So again, I'm pushing that away from me to get the iron in. And 
There's a lot of turning, the flip and dip. That's yes. why it's the flip and dip. So all of that's now going inside of the plaquette there. That wants to fold over this way, like so. Okay. And then this will come under. So again, depending on what you're wanting to do here, guys, so if you're going to do the hand finish, then take the whole 1.5 under. Yes. Which is what I'm going to do. Or just take it a little bit less than that, and then you'll be able to do a stitch in the ditch. Yes. OK. Right then, so this is what we've got left. So we've got our left side with a blunt edge. We've got our right side with our little pointy eye, and then we've got this uh, roughness going on in the <laughs> yes. middle. OK, so what are we going to do with that? So this is where we start layering up. So if I pull this out. So the order is left plaquette first. No, hang on, wait for, for you. the camera, yeah. So this is what it looks like at the moment. It's a bit of a go. mess. Yeah. Yeah. So, Left plaquette first, then we're going to tuck this bit in, like so. Mm -hmm. So notice where we've done our little clips, this is lying all nice and flat. Okay, so don't be tempted to kind of pull it like that. We don't want any puckers no. in that area. So leave that flat like that. And then this comes over like that. Okay. Brilliant. So I'm going to pin. <laughs> don't pin it to the mat. To the mat. <laughs> Pin that down. So what you're want, wanting to do is you're going to want to catch this down here so that's not only getting the top, the, the right-hand placket, but also the base of that, um, what would be the blouse, and then finally it's that little bit of square underneath. You yes. want to catch that la um, layer there. And then to keep this flap down, you're going to stitch a box. Yes. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. So basically, you're, you're encasing all the raw encasing edges all, all raw edges. inside it, and you're sewing the end of the placket, and you're sewing the tab all down in one All go. in one. Okay. It's a bit scary, uh, isn't it, though? Because... A lovely email from Kirsten. It says, hello, John and Jennifer. Uh, love all the dresses, want to make them all, but since I damaged my right hand for Christmas, I'm a bit limited. Oh, Aww. Kirsten. I'll be trying the Vogue Mrs. Vintage dress with contrasting facing, but want to use a cotton sateen. I want to ask if this will be heavy enough. Thanks for all the tips and advice. Okay, so you want to make the Vogue Miss Vintage dress, which is this one over here, isn't it? You want to make this one out of the cotton sateen, did you say? From the eight o'clock show, it'd be plenty heavy. In fact, it would look yeah. gorgeous. Oh it? no, it'd be beautiful. Because it'll turn it. It'll be like a cocktail dress. It'll look like a cocktail. So it'll be. That's the that's the pattern there. So it'll look like um, this one. That this one. one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I thought I thought it had wheels on them. So it look like this one, but in the cotton sateen. All you'll have to remember is the cotton sateen sh shoulders won't stick out like this. The cotton sateen shoulders will, which will be beautiful because it'd be like a little. A little oh, cape, cap sleeve there, little cape sleeve there. But it will be absolutely gorgeous. We need new, we need new um, mannequins, don't we? <laughs> They're a year old. So, yes, yeah, so imagine that in the cotton sateen. It looked beautiful. It also oh. looks stunning in the denim. Oh, can I just, um, yep. on the back of the, it's a detail that I just need to show you. It's got beautiful shaping on the back of this pattern. Oh, yes. There's four darts going in. Edwardian. Oh, it's beautiful. It, it really is. A, if you haven't got a waist, this dress will make you look like look you, like have, you one. have got one. <laughs> uh, it works beautifully in the denim, but it will, look, it will work in the cotton sateen, yeah. but it will look completely different in the cotton sateen because it'll be well, more this when it's swishy. Anyway, better get on. Right, and, it's, and it's a six panel skirt. Thanks, Kirsten. Oh, six panel skirt. So there's a lot of swish. Yes, which means your leaves are going to be going in all different directions while you're swishing. It's right. Look beautiful. Right, okay, so I've gone ahead and stitched the box. Yeah. You can see that I've got my box there. We've got my tailor's tacks all flipping out. You can pull those yeah. out. There's some elements oh. in that, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So I've stitched my box in there. So again, if you remember, I peel back. So there's my lovely little dart underneath there. Yeah. So the only thing that I'd say that you need to do now is just peel back here because there might be some little bits that you need to just trim back. Yes. Okay. Now you won't yeah. see those. So you might want to get your, uh, your duck bill scissors, but these are nice and uh, sharp, so I can do that. Yeah. So once you've done that, you've got a clean packet now, so then to put your um, buttonholes into this section. So remember, girls are right, so it's yes, in, exactly. if it, in my right section. But if you want to make this for a boy, essentially, then it'd be the other way around. Oh, yes, exactly. But it also, if you wanted to, if you're like, oh, well, I don't, I don't know about that, you could run another line of stitches across yeah. here, couldn't you? Which would then encompass that, any raw edges any raw that edges, were there. Yeah. You could so do you another, because you're not going to ruin the placket no, by doing no, another line of stitching. No, not at all. 
So that's the plaquette done. You see, lots of people are frightened by that, aren't they? Because it looks complicated. It does look complicated. And, you li and if you literally think about it. Now, I've got five and a half minutes left with you, Jennifer. Okay. I know you can't make a collar in five and a half minutes. Should we try? Sure. Oh, well then. Challenge. Challenge accepted. Go on then. Uh, do you want to say anything about that? Sorry, do you want to say anything else about that? No, I don't think we do. No. Not when you got <laughs> no. a challenge. Not when, not when we got a challenge on the go. No. Um, I will make a confession though. Um, I couldn't find my uh, t size 12 collar piece, so I've had to cut out a size 14. But let's see if it works, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, shouldn't be that different. If you grade nah, up, it shouldn't be that fine. different, should it? All right. So I'm just going to sew the shoulder seams in first. Yeah. Because we're going to need that for our base. Got loads of people putting this in their basket. You do need to check out the, this one's for the um, pattern, dress pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. About 12 you haven't checked out yet. Da, da, da. And again, this is the other shoulder seam. So you need to do this first. Yeah. Otherwise, you've got nothing to attach it to. So it's like a, it's like a shirt collar almost, isn't it? Like it's a man's shirt yeah, it's on a stand, yeah. yeah. It is a, a, a man's collar. Yeah, that's it what is I'm a saying, collar, yeah. yeah. Right, okay, so there's your base for your collar. So obviously right. you'd need to follow the rest of the instructions for the arms and all that. Yeah. All that jazz. Right, so it's a two-piece collar, and by that I mean you have your stand, yeah. which is where your button will be. Which is that bit. Okay. So, so, that, if, so what you could do, if you wanted a mandarin collar shirt, don't add this part, yeah. just sew that one together. Yeah. But if you want a collar collar, then obviously you need to attach it to, but it's this part that I'm talking about. Okay, so that's the stand and yep. that's the collar. Yeah. Okay. Back you go, Maureen. Oh, no, it's not Maureen, is it what she called? <laughs> Mandy. Mandy. Oh, well, I call her Mandy. Okay. Mandy the mannequin. Okay, so we've got our collar, which is this shape here, and we've got our stand here. So you can see that this is a size 14, so we'll see how it goes together. There shouldn't be too much difference, but it might make it a little bit difficult. We'll, yeah. we'll try. So um, one part is interface, the other one isn't. So Does it matter which side you interface? Does it matter if it's the one well, because underneath it, or the top? Um, I would... Let me get this right. I would um, sew in the interface on the, um, the back side, so not against the skin. Yeah. But if, if for whatever reason you sew the interfacing on, it doesn't, as long as there's a structure in there, that's all that really okay. matters, guys. You've got three minutes left of cool, the challenge. Cool, that's fine. Um, and this is, um, what was I going to say? The collar. It is the collar. You put interface It's a it. mirror image, so it doesn't matter which way around it is, is what I was right. going to say okay. to you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is stitch all the way around the collar, leaving this part, and there's little notches in there telling me don't sew that section. So that's the first so thing I'm going to do. So it's just the center of, center, just from here to here you don't sew? No, the whole thing. Oh, so, the whole thing? So there, I'll Literally. show you. Okay. So I'm going to go in from the top corner. This is going to be the messiest collar in the world, I can't wait. So 1.5 all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> She's got it on go on Coronation Street factory mode now. <laughs> <laughs> and I've gone quiet. I'm concentrating. Yes. It's the first. <laughs> For this show it is. I don't know where my head's been this morning. I'm so oh, sorry God. about that, guys. No, I didn't mean the first time you've concentrated. I meant the first time you've been quiet. <laughs> I'm on about concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right. you need to clip all this back. So obviously, because this is a curved edge, yep. I would go in and clip. So either use your pink and shears to do that or physically go in and yep. make those cuts. Okay. Because we're running out of time, I'm going to go super speedy. I'm just going to worry about my little pointy collar bits. Yep. Two minutes now. And Can I leave you to turn that out? Yeah. Okay. okay. You've got the dobber still. Yes, I have. There at the dobber. There you go. Right then, so the next part is the stand. Okay, so if I just open that out for you. Again, you've got two pieces. One is interfaced, one is not. And we're going to put the right sides together at, at a point. But first of all, we need to get that collar attached to this part of the stand. Well, am I holding you up now? Yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah, everyone's said Okay, the corners aren't pushed out as well as they That's should fine. be. That's fine. And they're not pressed. Oh, they go, they go, they go. We'll forgive you. Yeah. Right, okay, so this part here is open. Yeah. Okay, this is the one that's going to go into that part of your, so where the curves are here, yeah. you've got little notches there, one, two, one, two, we've got notches on our collar as well. So these part needs to go together. First of all, and I'm going to try and do this in a one -er. I was going to say, you've only got 40 seconds. That's fine, you can do it. 
and the stand is too big for this collar. Never mind, we'll get the idea. Do, do, do. So we're going to put this one on top of it. Yeah. So you're sandwiching. Um, you're saying that the stand's too big, but you do need that little bit extra there, don't yeah. you? Yeah, so there's a dot on my um, fabric. This is telling me where this stand should be. But yes. Because I've cut a size 14 because I've lost my size yeah, 12 yeah, yeah. piece, I know it's too big. But I know how what the difference is. So if you have this at home, you could just grade it. Yes, yeah. So you, you can change it. But, but also, even if they're the right size, there is a bit more because where you button here, where this bit sticks out, yeah. you need that extra bit there. Right, I'm going to sew, and then I'll turn it out for you. Okay. So again, 1.5, nothing changes, but this time we're just attaching our collar to our stand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing about. I mean, you've got something going on tomorrow. No, no, I'm Dear not. John. Oh, yes, no, I've got... Little Paul just said, it's not you so off today, John, you know. <laughs> I've got pins hiding in there. Do you know what you've got? It's, a se it's top no, secret, it's a secret, isn't it? We get a gold Ooh. envelope apparently in the first hour. I can't wait. And then we do it in the last hour. I'm so yeah. going to be tuning in. I cannot wait. Right. Okay, very quickly. So again, you would go in with your pinking because this is a curved edge yep. to make sure you do that. So once you've done that, you just need to turn this around. Like so. Obviously, guys, you would press this. Yes. But essentially, that is your collar and your stand and done. Then and then this bit here. This part here would be attached to the neckline of the, so if I just. Yeah. Look a bit. Brilliant. And obviously yours will be pressed and neat. That one's looking a little bit puffy, isn't it? But thank you very much. I've got to go. Ooh. We'll see you next Monday, won't we? Yes, see, we'll see you, next you next Monday. Monday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, right, okay, denim first. Very popular. I said this, didn't I? Every time we show eight ounce. Eight ounce denim always absolutely flies out the door. 60 inches wide, 150 centimeters. For half a metre, four ninety nine. Now it's hundred percent cotton, but it does feel like it's got a bit of stretch in it. But it is hundred percent cotton. Four ninety nine for half a metre. Lovely and wide, isn't it? Okay, okay. I'll put that in the basket. Right, the big check. If you've got this in your basket, please check out as soon as you can. Very low. Three ninety nine for half a metre. Now, this obviously isn't 60 inches wide. This is the 40 inches wide, this one, isn't it? Let me just double check. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, so, remember, um, if you're new to us, if you all... Uh, well, and also, um, uh, not just if you're new to us, if you need more than a metre and a half, you can order it on the website now. You don't have to ring the call centre. Three, nine, see, someone's just bought five metres of this on the website. It's working now. 3 99 for half a metre. In fact, do you know what? You need to check all of these. They're all down there underneath me on the website. There's the green and blue gingham, the pink and blue gingham, the bl navy blue gingham, and the red gingham, all listed underneath me if you're watching on the website. And then the pattern, please check out your pattern, especially in the larger size. The, the large size is much, much shorter. 8.59. Okay, Lucy's back after the break. Uh, doing, oh, that, the, the quilt that was on the wall. Um, and we'll see you in three minutes. Don't go anywhere. It's a bit of a bit of a rush show today. There's loads going on. Um, so Lucy, she's there, ready to go. It's warmer now, Lucy. I don't know how. Uh, I will see you with Lucy in three minutes from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join us on Wednesday the 7th of February when we're thrilled to welcome Tula Pink into the Sewing Quarter family with her debut show. Tula Pink's fabric designs are inspired by her love of animals and nature and she enjoys hiding animal characters in unusual places in her illustrations. Her bold use of colour and patterns makes her fabrics a joy to quilt and sew with. Tula also has her own range of tools to add a special touch to your workroom. Her biggest fans include our own designers, Lucy Brennan and Joe Carter. Like many people around the world, they're inspired by her gorgeous fabrics. So we can't wait to reveal these exciting prints and accessories. So join Tula for her Sewing Quarter debut on Wednesday, the 7th of February. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best-selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. 
We publish 13 times a year, featuring must-make projects. Essential techniques, interviews, news and reviews from the world of modern quilting. Every issue also comes with a free gift. Sewing Quarter's first birthday is on Wednesday the 31st of January and we have a week of special shows to celebrate. Finishing off the first morning of our birthday party at 11am, John and Natasha are taking part in a fun sewing challenge in the Great Sewing Quarter Sew-Off. Guest designers Lucy Brennan and Victoria Pete will guide our presenters through an hour of sewing against the clock. It's certain to be a show full of fun and laughter. Join us to see what Natasha and John will create, along with expert tips from our brilliant designers. So tune in at 11am on Wednesday the 31st of January for our first ever Sewing Quarter Sew-Off competition. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 or Sky Channel 678. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Dive into our brand new show with Jo Carter this Friday morning as she debuts her amazing mermaid soft toy. Originally, in issue 20 of Simply Sewing magazine, these adorable dolls have seashell bikini tops and a pretty flower in their hair with charming embroidered faces. We think this is a perfect gift for a little one who will love having their own underwater adventures with their new friend. So tune in for Joe's exciting new show at 9am on Friday the 2nd of February, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. I want to know why Bex, the lady who makes sort of, I say lady, girl, that makes the videos, didn't show the bottom of the mermaid. We only saw its face and its lovely seashells. We didn't see the swishy tail or anything. Anyway, 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 just have a look at this lovely quilt, this lovely quilt that Lucy's made for us. It's gorgeous. It's got all, it looks like it's so complicated, but apparently it's not. We love it, we love it, we love it. It comes from the book, Quick and Easy Quilts book. And, um, it, well, I'll show you the book first. I'll show you the book first. You've, now, I'm a bit limited, um, apparently, on the... Um, oh, look, we've got that one somewhere, Stunning Stars. That's the Friendship Star one. These are beautiful quilts. Optica... Oh, that's what, this one here. Sorry. That's this one here. Sorry. Woo! Tula Pink coming in on the February the 7th. Not with that range, with a new range, with a new range. Optica, optica. Uh, then the quick set, which is the one we're doing now. Uh, then we keep going. Summer Dreams Rail Fence. These are beautiful. Look at all the templates you need and everything. We've done corporal stripes, done it in purple. We've done it in blue in the past. You even get the template for the corporal stripes there. Walk Around the Block. We've done that one as well. Um, what's this one? Nine Patch Twirl. Don't think I've done that one. Now, this one here, I never understand this one. Chocolate curry Covered Cherries. Uh, I can't see a cherry in there. Anyway, might be my imagination. Go team, go team. And then, uh, what I've got after that? Oh, I love this one. Isn't this? Seven patch, that one's called. Right, now, I, I am limited with that one, apparently. So if you want that, make sure you buy it and check out straight away. Right, I've got three bundles. Three bundles for each one, uh, for, to make that. The... Okay, so this one here is the one, oops, is the one that uh, Lucy's already done. Let's have a look at this. So you get a half metre, one metre, one metre, one and a half metres, five and a half metres. Total of nine and a half metres of fabric there. So there's enough for the front and the back. Yeah, they're not in the right order though. So you're getting what, sorry? Forest fruits, damson, Grass, lime, and optical white. Yeah, okay, there you go. You don't have to worry about the colours because you just get them automatically. Now that one's just called the quick step quilt because that's the one Lucy's already made, right? 
Then you're thinking, well, I don't like those colours, John. I want different colours to that. I've got two other bundles for you. I've got the yellow one. Yellow and grey, this one is. Half a metre, one metre. Oh, on the telly, that looks white. That's um, Merc uh, um, uh, Glacier Grey, is it? Yeah, Glacier Grey. Uh, then you've got one of the yellow there. You've got uh, one and a half of the bright yellow, and you've got five and a half of ivory. Total of nine and a half metres. Now, I've got the measurements. I haven't got the colours. OK, that's the yellow and grey one there. Then we've got the blue one. And then this one here, these are lovely, aren't they? So you've got half a metre. Half a metre, one metre, one metre, one and a half metres, and five and a half metres. Oh, now, this one's limited, apparently, limited. 61 pounds and 49 pence. Up to you. Oh, now, now obviously, it's not up to you where you um, do the colours, because it goes half, one, one, one and a half. So it's obviously planned, isn't it? So let's go and see Lucy. Right, you've got a lot to do, so could you get it right this time, please? <laughs> I shall try. I shall try my very best. <laughs> um, where'd you start? Well, the first thing you want to do is have a read through the pattern, yes. of course, and then um, decide on your colour placement. So for the one that I've made up here, I've just gone with the same colours that we used okay. um, in the book. Um, where's the block? It's four blocks I'm taking. It's it. four blocks with sashing. Oh, got it. So right. that's the block there. Yeah, so the blocks go to the edges of the pear drops, yes. tear drops. Yes. And then the square in the middle, all those green squares around the outside are part of the sashing. Yes. Got it. So those are the cornerstones yes. in the sashing. Okay. Yeah. All right. You said pear drops, you made me hungry now. Do you remember those sweets? I didn't like those. <gasps> Them. They've, got, they've got that funny ether in or yeah, something. Yeah, I quite like them. No, I don't like pear Yeah, job. no, it's probably terrible for you anyway. Yeah, go on then. So, um, so I'm using the blues. Right, okay. So I had to decide, you know, where I'm going to place um, those colours. And you've got the same amount of fabric, so it's really up to oh, you. Yes. So, sorry to interrupt, but the one that you've got one and a half, half of is obviously the one for the binding as well. You know what I mean? So, yes. It, in, Oh, it's one, it's one more. One of, you've got half right. a metre, one, one, one and a half, and then right. a lot of the, the cream for the backing. Yeah, like that. so whichever one you've got slightly more of is that yeah. you can use okay. for the binding. Right. Um, but you'll have enough whichever, whichever way, way you, do it. you decide to, oh, okay. to do Perfect. it in the pattern. Perfect. So um, for this one, I've gone with the darker blue for the applique. Yeah. Oh, um, oh right. Okay. I'm doing the brighter blue um, in the centre. Yeah. And then the... Um, Four patches I'm going to make up with these pa pale paler, blues. paler okay, blues. Nice. So just slight okay. ombre. So I was about to ask how you um, patchworked a t teardrop, pear drop, but it's applique. It's applique, okay, yeah. Okay. So I've already um, prepared those, but I will applique um, them on when we get to okay. that. Okay. And then I've also done some of the long strips. Because we saw you Because we do, we, I did that earlier, yeah. yeah. Um, and in this one, just for interest from the discussion earlier about what colour thread, I've gone with a darker thread here. So I've got the pale blue and the white. So normally if I was at home, I would just use a pale yes. grey or whatever. Yeah. Um, but just to show you that even with the darker thread on here, you can't see the thread at all right. once it's turned over yes. and pressed. Yes. Okay. Um, you really, really don't see that thread and even along the seam there you can't see it um, I'm sorry I'm gonna have to just do something coming through yes, sorry that's fine. is your microphone in a Adjust different place me. today I don't know because your necklace okay, keeps knocking okay sorry if I'm jingle jangling I'll take it off no don't it. take it off okay I won't um I just have to keep manhandling you <laughs> <laughs> that's quite all right, right. so um so what have you sewn so together, we're making then? up two strips using both of the different colors just sewn to a strip of white OK, and then we're going to subcut this yeah. into two inch little strips. And okay. this is going to make up our four patches. OK, so these are the two paler ones that you've chosen for the, for the yeah. little squares. So, yes, this is going to make, this is a four patch. Yes. <laughs> so this is, I'm only laughing because of what we said earlier about what was a four patch. So that's the four patch there. So we're making it up of strips. Right. OK. Yeah. So subcutting it into two inch strips that then are sewn together to make this. Perfect. This patch okay. here. OK, so I'm just going to start cutting. 
I'm using, I've requested a little ruler because when I'm cutting something that's this small, you, you can, of course, use the larger one, but it just gets a little bit cumbersome. Yes, of course. So I prefer to use Do we know the slightly smaller really one. Lord, just help yourself. Don't know. No, little fool's <laughs> got no idea. Uh, Hilary says, I've just opened all of my lovely parcels of fabrics and just want to say a big thank you to the cutting team. Beautifully and precisely cut, no wonky edges. Hilary, I'll make sure they know that. I'll make sure that... I don't know if they have it on. I haven't been to visit the warehouse yet. I don't know if they have it on in the warehouse or not, if they have disco music or something like that. Disco. <laughs> well, where, where we worked before, they used to have loud music on yeah. in the um, packing in the warehouse. I can't... It's funny how some people can work with music and I prefer to work in silence. Do you? I do. I like talking in the background. I don't mind talking. I will quite often, so with us with you on yes in the background but music i can't in the background you don't sit down and watch <laughs> yeah you're right there while i'm so <laughs> but music i can't music distracts me too much well I also think. if one comes on that you know you stop and sing and yes. you start reminiscing and then oh, i want to dance and it's just yeah, yeah. dance <laughs> you dance come on always dancing i'm gonna just take it just off. take it off i'm so sorry everybody it's not your fault you might close people in the wrong place so now, I Keep need it safe. How much is it worth? It's worth <laughs> a bit, but it's a pretty penny, this, isn't it? I'll right, just put it there so we don't forget it. Thank you. Oh, look at you. You look... Poor bear now. <laughs> so I'm just doing the same from the other one. So you would just keep cutting from the strip. Yes. I only need um, yeah, we're only four. Yeah, because we're going to make four blocks in so, four of them, yeah. don't you? So I'm only cutting out four, but don't think I'm wasting all this because you would be using it all. Right. And of course, all of the measurements are in the book. In the pattern, they look a bit like um, paint chips. You know, when you get the little samples of the colours. No, just me. Okay. I've seen dominoes myself. <laughs> what, you, what can you see? Paint chips. You know the like tester cards for paint, oh, where you yes, get, have the little. Yes, yes, they yes, look yes, like yes, that. Yes, yes. Yeah. They don't do those in Farrow and Ball. Oh, do they not, darling? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, you've allowed to take them home at Farrow and Ball. Right, OK. OK, so um, then we're just going to be making these up. Oh, OK. Um, into the four patches. So it's just a quicker way. Rather than cutting all the little squares, right. you've just sewn two long seams, subcut it, and yes. then we're okay. ready with our four patches. So I've pressed um, towards the darker side, so again, I can just nestle those seams together. Brilliant. So I'm going to do all four at once and just chain piece those. Get my pins out. Are they all the same? Do you make them all the same? You make them all the same, okay. yeah. Is that right? I don't know. Yes, I'm, I'll trust you. What are you looking for? Yes, that's right. I'm just checking. I mean, you can spin them round, can't you? It doesn't really matter. So long be. as you've got the colours opposite. Yes. Like Kylie Minogue. <laughs> you heard her new tunes? No, has she got new tunes? Sonia in Suffolk, all spelt posh way this way. Fabulous show, keep up all the great work, having a sneaky peek while I'm at work. <laughs> Shh, Sonia. <laughs> have you got your earpiece in? You like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of people have, um, um, it, it, you, put it, you put, put it in the top, cor top right-hand corner, you can, when you can minimise oh, the can screen, you? you can watch it up in the top right-hand corner with no sound on. No, I make right? it. I make it big. I bet. <laughs> if you're at work for yourself, See your you're smiling not face. In the no, I know that's true. We had a lovely picture of somebody. Uh, I was doing the um, iron and something else the other day, and they sent a picture of them working away with their iron and everything, and then me in the background. I thought, it, I thought it was the telly way up far in the background, but it was an iPad really close to. Right? Oh yeah. And then someone else sent pictures of their dogs. This, their dogs are like just fascinated by like, watching the telly like that. And then we've got one, uh, one lady who's got a dog who, if you say squirrels, and we sell squirrel fabric, and every time you say squirrels, the dog goes crazy. <laughs> I don't think my cat's interested in television at no, all. No, mine aren't either. She does like sitting on quilts, though. That's the heat, isn't it? Mm. Right. OK, so I'll just Would we press these or apart. just finger press them? Uh, press them, yeah. I'm trying to remember how oh, I press them. I think, I think I'll do it oh, 
do it open. You can spin your seams. Um, you know, oh, so you, you press them open, to have yes. them all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because if you do them all one way, you get a little like nipple in the middle. Yeah, you? but you can you can pop that seam and do them all going round if you want to. But just for time, I'll just press yeah. them open. You know, tomorrow when we're doing this sew off, well, yes. on this side, it's quite nice on this side. I don't isn't know. It? I don't. I really don't know. You can if you want. It depends what we're doing. I don't even I know don't what know. we're doing. <laughs> Neither do I. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. <laughs> we'll find out in the morning, won't we? Yeah. So tomorrow, uh, it's our birthday tomorrow. Uh, one year old, one year old tomorrow. So in the first hour, um, <clears throat> uh, Natasha and I will be on together, uh, reminiscing over the year and telling what's happening and getting the challenge from Lucy and uh, Victoria. Then the second hour is, is it you? Are you in, we don't, yeah, you're nine o'clock. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So the second hour is uh, Lucy doing a Bargello quilt using um, Jane's pattern, I believe. And then, then we go off for an hour to prep and then Natasha and Victoria Pete come on and th they're doing a Sail Away quilt. By, oh, by Lynn Goldsworthy. And then the last hour, it's the sew off tomorrow. And all your messages. And how are we going to get everything done with all your messages and everything? But there we go. Right, so we've got the four. Okay, so I've done the four four patches yeah. for the block. Okay. And then, am I missing some? What's the matter? I'm missing some triangles somewhere. You've got there. No, I should have more than that. Did oh, you, no. Did you cut them out? Yes. And you can't have done. Did you think, oh, I'll cut those out on the show? Oh, maybe, I don't know. Well, we've got, because we've got the four patches, we've got the teardrops and the... Oh, oh no, sick. I'll have to get some white and. Do you want some? Have you got some it. white there? No. No. I don't think so. Oh, dear, it's all going horribly <laughs> wrong, isn't it? <laughs> so, I might have left them out there. They might be on the table out there. Um, do, you need, do you need more than one to, to, to show how to do this bit? Oh, yes, because we need to make four. Yes, well, I'm just going to sew it, but I'll sew one side either side. But you've got the but measurements Chris in there. I'm in now if you've left them on the desk. Yeah, so you're just, you're just cutting squares yes. on the diagonal. And you're sewing one either side and one, and one top, top or bottom. And, bottom. and okay. that's going to make the, the centre, the centre one, yeah. which should look like okay. a diamond. Do you want to start sewing those? Yeah. Then? So you always sew um, the two that are opposite first. Yes. And then... Where will they be the in the big two. room if you've left them in the big room? Um, on, the on the table. On your, the designer's table? Yes. On the designer's table, please. I think so. Well, you know what they're like here. They tied you up so quickly. They Unless have I have gone. accidentally not done it. and Not by you, Paul, but the designer's table, you know, the type where they prep, the, the, where the ironing board is and the pressing board is. No, you've not left them there. I'll have to cut more out then. Can we have some... Do you need more fabric? We need some more of the white fabric then, please. No, I'm talking to you. I'm just checking through my things. I've not got it. Go on. I was just checking, but I haven't got it. Oh. Is it optical white, this one? Yes, it is optical white. Yeah. Yeah, hang on, we need some optical white. Well, I'll leave that for now, and All I'll right, start we'll doing my applique um, pieces. Okay. So, with these, you've got the um, template there Templates in the pattern. In the book. The teardrop. So all I did was trace that onto Bonder web. Yeah. So depending on the size of your quilt, however many you want to make. Of course. Actually, so that bundle that we're doing there is big enough to make the quilt behind us, is it? Or is it enough to make a bigger one? I'll check mm. in the book. Yeah, you no, know, it's enough to make a bigger one. So the quilt in the book is 73 by 91 and a half inches. Oh, much bigger than yours then. Much bigger. Yeah. And you've got enough in the bundle to make the quilt top. Okay. Um, we need some optical white, please. That'd be brilliant. Okay. So I've traced that onto the bondo web. Yeah. Um, ironed it onto the darker blue. Yeah. Cut the shapes out and pressed it. Removed the paper and pressed Did it onto the squares. Did you use a June Teflon, June Taylor Teflon ironing cloth? Of course. Good. So the um, squares are actually, you actually trim them down after you've done the applique, okay? okay? 
But when you're positioning them, you want to try and aim for the point. Right. Do you see what I mean? Yes. You want to try and get it centrally, but you are going to square them up. So don't worry too much about it, because in the squaring up, you can make sure that that's going into the okay. corner. But even on the pattern, they're not actually fully meeting. Do you okay. see what I mean? It doesn't yes. matter if there's a bit of a yes. space. Yeah. Um, and I was looking at and you know checking that they weren't all perfect and that it doesn't need to be. Um, mm. It's not that sort of a pattern. Okay. So don't worry too much about that. But when you trim it down, you can leave your quarter of an inch there. Okay. So you can applique it using any stitch you want. I did a blanket stitch. Um, on, on the machine the, or by hand? Um, by hand. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did it on the machine. Oh, yes. So I did a machine blanket stitch around, around there. Okay. But, but you could do a satin stitch. You, you could do to, a satin you? stitch, yeah. your favourite. Or you, you could do raw edge if you, if you wanted to. Okay. So. There it is. Brilliant. Okay. And you could needle, you know, if you wanted to needle, needle turn. turn, do it but by hand. But then they'll be smaller. You, do that. You, you either need to cut them a little bit bigger. You'd then, cut them with a the, quarter yeah, inch round. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, I might do a zigzag do just to want. do something sure, sure. different. There we go. Not quite sure how big this zigzag is, but we'll see in a minute. It's white fabric in the trolley behind you. Thank you. Where will you put them? I don't know. I've probably just dropped them some in between oh. getting it out of my case and you definitely cut them flinging out, it you? around. Well, I might not have cut it out. No, Chris is saying you haven't even cut it out. <laughs> he said you've just sat there with your feet on the desk chatting to Haley for the last hour. I'm not... <laughs> oh, oh, you had something in your coffee as well, I hear, because you're oh, not going home today. Stop. Was it an Irish coffee? Was the cream floating on? Oh, I can see it on here. <laughs> On a moustache. No, not on a moustache. Making a moustache. <laughs> Making a moustache of cream, not on your moustache. Right, just drop your shovel now. <laughs> Digging a hole. <laughs> oh dear. When, when they listen to the list, when they because they record everything that's said upstairs, we can just what time is it? We'll get them to look at eleven twenty, shall we? We've had an email while Lucy's stitching that. Hi, John. Hi, Lucy. Love watching these two together. I was unpacking some of my gorgeous fabric last night and I too was really impressed by how neatly my fabric was cut. Congratulations to the warehouse team. Love from... And then, why have we got some um, speech marks up there, Wendy? Wendy from Kidderminster. Hello, Wendy, my love. Like this. That's like when someone men men messaged in going, well, John's professional, isn't he? Like that. <laughs> Okay, so that's just done very um, hastily. Yes. But there we go. And I do a locking stitch when I um, on this machine when I um, stop and start because obviously it's going to be hidden yeah. um, inside the project. Okay. So um, it doesn't really matter. You not to not to worry no. about it. So should we? Do you want to go back it? to this? Now? Yeah, go we'll go back, back to that. Because then you want so, to get all your implements made. Don't yeah, you? we'll have a look what size square what size that needs to be. Yeah. I don't want to put my glass on. I'm not going to be reading it. So an E. While you, while you sort that out, can yeah. I go and do bundles? Of course. I'll go, I'll go and do bundles uh, while Lucy does that. Okay, the one that's already made is this one here. It's lovely, isn't it? As someone said, they're the colours of the Joker. Because we had the Batman earlier, didn't we? Now we've got the Joker. So you get half a metre, one metre, one metre, one and a half metres, and five and a half metres, totalling nine and a half metres. 61 pounds and 49 pence. There's the still. Do you want to see what that makes? You, your fabric will make a much bigger version than that. We'll make a much bigger version than that one. Okay. Then we've got the yellow and grey one. Again, you've got uh, half a metre. One metre. One metre. One and a half metres. And five and a half metres. That one's got um, like a cream ivory with it. 
61 pounds and 49 pence. There's the still. And then the one that Lucy's using, the blue one, is this one here. Half a meter, one meter, one meter, one and a half meters, and five and a half meters. 61 pounds and 49 pence. There's the colors. Now, to get the Lucy's pattern, you need the book. Quick and easy. Limited, limited, limited. 12 patterns, half the stock is gone. 12 fun and fabulous quilts for a busy schedule. 12.99. Okay, let's get back to Lucy and do some sewing. Right. Okay, so I've got my square. Yes. And I, I, everything happens for a reason. Um, oh. It's reminded me of something that I wanted to mention. Oh, okay. So when you're um, doing patchwork, like this and, and doing a diamond and you're sewing triangles to either side of something, I would suggest cutting out your squares slightly bigger than it says in the pattern because of the accuracy of quarter inch seams. Right. So even as I've sewn this one, I can see my quarter inch is slightly too big and it's going to end up in the seam allowance so it doesn't really matter. Yes, yeah. But um, if I then sew the other side and that's too big, it's going to end up too small. Yes. So what I would suggest is cut your square. This one is two and seven eighths. And what did they say in the book? Yes, two and seven eighths. Oh, okay. okay. So that's what I have cut it at. And what would you cut it But I would maybe go to three or, you know, three and an eighth yeah. or something. If you just cut it fractionally bigger, yeah. it means that when you subcut it to make your triangles, yeah. you've just got a bit more wiggle room so that when you're sewing them around the outside, you can then trim the block back to get it to the exact yes. size that you Brilliant. need. So it's okay. always better to go a bit bigger and trim back yeah. than it is to end up too, too small. small. Tracy, I love you two. You make me laugh. That's what Tracy says. <laughs> Teresa, John and Lucy, can't wait for tomorrow's fun. Expecting lots of laughs. Love, Teresa <laughs> and Luna the Whippet. Oh, that's, that's who it is. That's Luna the Whippet that doesn't like squirrels. Squirrels! <laughs> Squirrels! <laughs> That's Luna the Whippet, doesn't like those. Uh, one from... No, it's stuck on Teresa's now. Carol. Hello, John. Great show today. Best wishes from Carol. Uh, in, sorry. Hello, Carol, my love. Best wishes to you. Sonia. Morning, my two lovelies. Beautiful quilt, Lucy. Love our Sonia. So whose was do we miss out? Sarah's. Hello, John and Lucy, she says. Love watching you two together. You've really cheered me up. Brilliant demos as always. She's put that in inverted commas. <laughs> yes. That's so lovely. Thank you. We love getting comments, yes. don't we? It's really nice. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Sarah, yes. I said Sarah, yeah. So I'm going to give that a press. Oh, right. And I'm just pressing outwards. Now, you're going to see exactly what I mean now. because it is tight. <laughs> Just as the camera got there, you pulled Oh, out did I? Show. Sorry. <laughs> I forget. Show us what you mean. So, really, what should happen is I should have a quarter of an inch oh, here. Oh, yes. And see, I don't, because I don't, I've not even got my quarter inch foot on, so I'm doing yes. it slightly haphazard. But then what it means, so it's okay here, but it's not here. Yes. Um, because the quarter inch. So, so it means... I, you can use a scant quarter of an inch, or you cut your pieces bigger. Uh, yeah, because you're going to lose just the point of that yes. square. In if the I go from the time. edge, yeah. yeah. So when I'm trimming it, I'm going to trim where I can a quarter of an inch away. But you can see how how yeah, yeah, some of the little lines, that yes, is. Yeah. It's just not enough. Yeah. So I would either cut your squares bigger to cut into triangles or go with a scant quarter scant of an inch seam. I completely forgot to go with a scant quarter of an inch seam, so this is a okay. bit small, but it'll, you know, yeah. it'll be all right it'll for all intents and purposes, but so. yeah. Obviously you want to get it, um, you know, for a quilt that you're making, that's going to be washed and what have you, you want to get it right. You can see how far that's off. Okay, so. Okay. Those are the component parts. Yes. Along... So, so we've got the teardrops that you've appliqued. Yeah. We've got the four square 
Four patch, sorry, four patch. Yes. And then we've um, got smaller rectangles and larger rectangles. So this... But all of them, all of these sizes are all here, aren't they? Yes, yeah. they're all um, okay. in the book. So is that all finished with there, then? Yes. Okay, I'll put are you tidying up for me? Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. So from this point, it's sort of like, um, you know, you're working out from the, from the centre and building it up. So it's like adding borders, like yes. you might with a medallion quilt or something like that. Looks lovely in the blues, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? And it gives it a completely different look. I think the the um, yellows and grey is such a classic combination yes. as well. That would look yeah. really pretty. You see, the quilt in my my bedroom at the moment is all blues, different mm -hmm. blues and whites and everything. So raggedy now. The edges are really, really raggedy now. I've had it for donkey shoes. Are you angling for a new one? No, I've given up asking <laughs> you now. I'll make my own at this rate. OK. Um, so you're just building it up like this. These I need to trim down. Let's have a look at that then. Which ones do you need to trim down? These ones I need to okay. trim down. I haven't trimmed those down yet. You see that central part's essentially a nine patch. And then it's yes, like adding, yeah. adding borders and cornerstones to it. Is there another, is there another blue? No, there's four blues. So one, one two, two, three, three four. four. Oh, yeah. So... Um, I was, I kept wanting to do that. I don't yes. know why, yeah, we, but I had to very much focus to... Oh, no, because when you, no, cause cause if when you, you, when you get it, the centre square, it would look wrong then. It would look wrong, that. yeah. So <clears> you just be mindful of the direction that I, these are I going might, in. I might want to do, this is just me now and I'm going to ruin okay. the whole quilt. I might want to put some blue somewhere else. I want a bit more blue in it. Yes, which... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like I yes. might want these yes. or something to be a blue. Yeah, well, that might you be could. just me. What's really nice about having it white yeah. for a quilter, if you like the quilting, quilting, is that you've got all of this space then to to quilt. So um, anybody that enjoys free motion quilting, this is a great space to be able to do that. Um, if you have stencils, this would be a lovely. Um, like westerly it is, ones. Yeah. Yes, uh, westerly rulers or um, t a template. Oh, sorry, you mean template. Yes, yeah, sorry, the, sorry. a template yeah. that you might use because essentially a that's huge, a square. Yeah. So if you had a square um, template, that would work beautifully. So if your there. art is your actual quilting, quilting, so if you're one of those incredible quilters who can do flowers and scrolls mm -hmm. and everything just freehand, mm -hmm. then this is a brilliant one to do it because you've got those four big almost like frames to put Absolutely. it in, haven't you? Absolutely. Well, you'd have more on the bigger on the Yes, bigger you'd, have, lo yeah, you'd exactly. have lots of them. So you could do, and you could <clears> even do different ones in each section. Yes. And even if you're a beginner, but you want to do free motion quilting, yeah. it's a great one to practice on because you've got some boundaries, yeah. but you've got a, a decent space to work with. So. Also, having said, seeing it on the table, I wanted more blue. If you put another color in there, it would spot, because I'm only seeing one block, Yes. And when you put them together, if you had put blue, where mm -hmm. would it be? Either side of it, there. It, here, it's going to ruin. It's going to ruin the pattern. Yeah, it ruins this. It, yes, because it ru this is sort of like an Irish chain. Yes, but then it also then all links together as well, doesn't it? it? Does. Well, that, so that's yeah. where I would go. I, I would have looked at this as one block, and oh, I'm going to put blue in there. But then yeah. coming to put four of them together, it's going to. I think ruin if it. I was going to put another colour any, <coughs> anywhere, it would be here. And that's in the sashing, isn't it? It would be like oh, well, the sashing, case, yeah. because that would create a different look again, wouldn't it? But I'd still keep those different, I think. And uh, Liverpool saying you've quilted in white. Could you possibly use a different quilt colour if you wanted? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you can. I've just used it sort of to create some texture. So I did. This is all free motion. So it's yeah. just wiggly lines up yeah. and down, uh, simple. And then just some straight line quilting and then just some curves to sort of... Is it, is it all just free? It's all just free? Because you've gone literally from the corner of there to the corner of there to the corner of there. Yes. So it's all just freehand? Did you no, that freehand? was with a walking foot. Oh, I'm, 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 no, hang on. I meant as Sorry. in you didn't draw it out. No, you I didn't just, draw anything It's just Lucy's... You put the walking foot yes. on and just went for and it. And I just went for yeah. it, yeah. And then I just went... I just did that with a walking foot yeah. as well. But then that one there, what did you do this one with in the middle bit? Free motion. Free motion front. Yeah. OK, so what... Yeah. How, so we, do we sew... How... Uh, what order would we sew this together <laughs> in? So um, you want to do your nine patch first and then you add your sashing and okay. then these become rows. OK, so before we do that, you've got to trim these down. Yes, I've you? got to trim these down. 
so I'll do that first. Okay. I can't actually remember what I'm trimming them down to. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just have a quick look. Shall I start sewing these together for you? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I've got to show the bat in. Oh. Let me do the sewing. Phew. I could do, I'm doing sewing tomorrow, I believe. I'm saying look. Right, let me have a look at this. Right, okay, um, what, where's the size on this? 72 by 90. What did you say the finished one was in this? Um, 73 by 91. Okay, so this one just isn't quite big enough. If you're going to make the whole quilt, not Lucy's size, obviously, but what the fabric allows in this, this one's not quite big enough. You need the next size up. This is 1999. All of our... All of our um, Waddings are on the web, if you go to our web shop. Okay, now bundles, they go, chug, uh, oh no, let, well, let's see, do Lucy cut this, I'm not going to do bundles again. Okay, so I'm going to trim this back to three and a half. So when you're trimming, because it, it's not a lot to trim, but it's a fair yeah, bit. Yeah. What you want to be really mindful of is that you're leaving a quarter inch um, yes. around the so shape. So you finish one to be quarter inch smaller than the one you're cutting. Yeah, so that, because you've got your seam. Yes. So you don't want to, you know, You've got to be at least quarter of an inch away, away from, from the edge. Yes, especially this the point, point here. Because yeah. if you lose your points, um, you're going to lose the whole thing. So you can go right up, and that's going to mean that it's right in the corner. Or you can just trim. I sort of didn't do that intentionally I sort of left a little bit of a gap just so you've got okay. a bit of leeway but the other thing you want to do is now's the time to make sure that it's really squared up so if you have a ruler that has um, a diagonal line make sure that's going through your point and through the the center here because okay. otherwise they're going to look wonky -wiffy. yes, yes. skewiffy <laughs> that's my technical tip um, little Paul's stressing about the blue what's the matter with the blue bundle Paul Okay, the blue bundle, very, very limited now. Lots of people got it in the baskets. Remember, it's one PMP for the whole day. Whether you, so if you buy, if you buy, like say, a packet of pins in one hour, you pay £2.95 post back to that. Then if you buy one of these great big bundles, the P and P is still included in that original £2.95. If you then buy a sewing machine, like the 680 here, that's still included in the one P and P. The only thing I will tell you is that the, the sewing machines are delivered straight from Elna, so you'll get everything else from ours, and then that. So you get two deliveries really, but you still only pay one two ninety five delivery. It feels wrong because these haven't been appliqued, but. Oh okay. I'm just going to do it anyway. Yeah. Oh, I could have appliqued that while you were chatting. Yes, what's the matter? So the reason that you do this afterwards is because obviously depending on what stitch you use, Otherwise, I see yeah. every time. Um, but that's like you doing that with me with the blue. You're not seeing it as a quilt as a whole because you know what no, I mean, like you're, yes. you're going to have the big squares here. Yeah, it would. Let me just try this out on here. It would look odd if you put them the other way around, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. But yeah, look. Well, see. I, you could Move do though. Oh, no, actually, no, they, it's it'd not look that all right. bad. It's not that bad. Oh, do you know what? Oh, I think I like it better. Ooh. Shall I just do one the other <laughs> way around? For the same? <laughs> <laughs> on, what are you doing? No, I'm just doing it like that. Because I think it's sending the eye. <laughs> look. Don't knock it's the wall It's sending the eye. It's sending the eye round. Yes, but remember, this is because this is only one central block, isn't it? You're going to have that repeated yeah, on a larger quilt. Yeah, I still quilt. prefer them that way round. Do you? Maybe in the blue as well. It looks different in the blue. So make one like that. What's the matter? We got yeah, like fuzzy felts. They just stuck, didn't they? Right. Okay. Sorry. I'm doing it the right way. Is that the right way? 
Yeah, back to the experts. Lost Shut now. up, John. Okay. So I'm just going to sew this together. So yeah. I'm going to do the same thing. Chain piece down here, chain piece, and then okay. um, sew them into rows. You're fine. You've got 15 Sew minutes. the rows together. Uh, Andrew, uh, said, Andrew and Hilary, this is. Uh, morning, you two. What happened to your day off, John? Mm. Thought you were back tomorrow. Uh, poor old Natasha's not very well at all, and neither's Freddie. So uh, I got a call last night going, just as well, I hadn't been drinking or anything. I, thought, no, I don't drink anymore. That's the, that's the thing. I haven't had to drink for since Christmas. Well done, you. Oh, no, I we'll just can't be bothered. Um, so, no, I'm, I am back in tomorrow. I am back in tomorrow. Um, and if Natasha's still poorly, I'll be doing a sew-off on my own. But there's one way of winning, like um, <laughs> Tim said, at least you'll win that way. <laughs> No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't know, they'll have to rethink it if Natasha's still poorly, wouldn't they? Get Hayley to do it. Huh? Can you imagine? Paul. <laughs> Little Paul, he's off tomorrow. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're not producing tomorrow, which means you come in, you live locally. I'll call you on the way in. <laughs> he's ignoring, he's completely ignoring everything I'm saying there. Oh, an email, sorry. Oh, goodness. Just want to say what Joyce has been watching Sound Quarter for the past year. The show has made a big difference to my skills. So glad it's on Sky now. I can record it. Have a very happy first birthday and I look forward to watching you all again for another year. The best craft show on the telly, in my opinion. Everyone who works for Sound Quarter deserves a pat on the back. Great all round customer service. Oh, it's Geraldine. Love and hugs, Geraldine. Aww. Oh, thank you, Geraldine. Thank you. She's put P.S. Lucy's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> She, can't, can't that she wouldn't say that. She's no, she lovely. wouldn't. She wouldn't. <laughs> we had to cut that bit out. And we've had loads of other messages. <laughs> What's the matter? Because you're making me giggle. Oh, I didn't Oh, we made another properly. mistake. No. Oh. She was so, used to be so good a year ago. Didn't you? you were on the first show ever, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, and she was so good then. She wouldn't answer back. She didn't giggle. She concentrated. <laughs> I was so much more professional. Yes, I didn't like to say. Look at what you've done to me. No, I'm just going back over because I made a bit of a mess of this, this one. So if I lose a point, yeah. you know. Don't be doing that on the sew-off tomorrow. We've no, got to win. Just heed my advice of, um, you know, cut, making your shapes yeah. larger, making your squares larger when you're cutting triangles. Oh. That's what I'm trying to say. Last time. Yeah, I'd lost, I lost you all for a while then. If Paul's in, his team will lose, he said. Why would that be? Well, no, you'd have to make your expert do the sewing. No, no, because you're designing my project, aren't you? I don't know what's happening. You'll have to tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. Yeah, just design me a four patch. And then I'll win. You Is it on that? I wonder if it's on the ring. You have to ring a bell because when we finish, like they do on Big Brother. <laughs> I'm bored of it watch now. That. Oh, it was so good. And then last night, went off them all last night. Did you? Yeah. Well, no, I haven't seen last night. Last night's was nom nominations the night before, but I have to watch it the next day, obviously, because I have to be in bed. Early. While you're still sitting there, I'm just going yep. to go and do a final bundle. A bundle. Okay. Blue is you. Blue is the colour. Blue is the colour. Mm, 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 mm. Who sings that? Blue is the colour. Mm, mm. No, nobody knows. Right, blue quick step. This is blue quick step quilt. Oh, hang on. You get half a meter of corn flour. You get one meter of uh, that's blue sea there, and then you get one meter of. Now that's, no, hang on, you get one and a half of blue sea. Anyway, don't worry, you get half a metre, uh, one metre, one metre, one and a half metres and five and a half metres there. So you get a total of nine and a half metres. There you go. Then, you admit that's the blue one, the blue one. Now, you do have to check out the blue one if you, because um, it's very, very limited now, the blue one. Then we've got the yellow and grey one. Like Lisa just said, it's very classic, the yellow and grey colours together, isn't it? So you get half a metre, one metre, one metre, one and a half metres, five and a half metres. Glacier grey here is one metre. 
It looks white on your telly, actually. It's definitely, definitely glacier grey, that. Oh, it's all right up there. It's on my telly's down here. It looks white. Little Paul stopped talking. Half a metre of slate. I'll just wait for it to come back. That's the slate. Metre meter and a half of yellow, a metre of lemon, and five and a half metres of the ivory. Then, on the last one here, with the bundle that's on the wall. Now, remember, you can make a bigger quilt than the one that's on the wall with this bundle, because you've got nine and a half metres of fabric. So there's the one on the wall. So you get half a metre, one metre, oops, one metre, one and a half metres, and then the five and a half of the white, optical white. Half a metre, this is grass. Oak damson, lime, forest fruits, and then optical white. Okay, book. 61 pounds and 49 pence. And the book, very, very popular. I've got one in my trolley. I don't know what's in my trolley. I'll have a look at that. I think it's that one. Stunning stars, optica, that's on, that's on the wall. See that as I walk past it in a minute. Quick step. Summer dreams, low. There's 12, I think, didn't I say? Yep, 12 designs. There's the um, corporal stacks, which we made in blue and in purple. That one comes with the template that you need. A lot of these quilts are sewing strips together and then cutting them up, isn't it, really? Lovely. OK. OK. Here's Chula with the Optica. Oh, you didn't see that. Should I go back? <laughs> Chula Optica. She's in on February the 7th. It's beautiful, that quilt. And then... Oh, now, also, the other thing that... Oh, I don't think little Paul knows this. If you've got any questions you want me to ask Chula Pink, then you need to send them into studio at Sewing Quarter. I'll show you the email again in a minute. Because uh, Hannah was going to make a special file with all your questions in. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. If you've got any questions you want me to ask Tula on the 7th of February, this is that one I showed you at the beginning of that um, book. Yeah, Jane Alcock did that, I said that, yeah. Because uh, oh, look at the I, lovely border. I did that one. Oh, no, Jane Alcock didn't do it. Jane Alcock did this one. Yeah. This is Lucy's, because I looked at the border, because that's Lucy's border. Paul, get your information. That's my refreshers right. quilt, that one. That's your one. Oh, or, or the Oh, with the sweets. sweeties. Other sweets are available. <laughs> the the sherbet sweets. sweets are available. <laughs> I've just made a mess of it. I don't... I think I've... I've cut those wrong. I've done something very, very wrong. I clearly wasn't paying attention when I was cutting my pieces out. So I'm abandoning it. Okay. I just give up. No. It wasn't working. So what's this bit you do? So this is just what's left over. Victoria Pete's messaged in. No, Natasha. <laughs> no worries. Two against one. Bring it on. Oh, so she, <laughs> Natasha might be better. Natasha might be better. So she, no, she, she says, I definitely don't want little Paul. See you on the battlefield <laughs> tomorrow, she says. <laughs> Let's have to flip between the two. Oh, I have not an ounce of... Faith? <laughs> <laughs> competition in me. Oh, don't you blind me. I'm, once I get going, that's... But it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll it be will. fun. Yeah. Especially when it all goes wrong. I did that... Uh, yeah, Christmas, which I can imagine I did it that doing. Celebrity Ready, Steady, Hook Christmas special one year. It was me against Fern Britton. Oh, really? Yeah. Who mm. won? It was me against... Yeah, she won by four points. And her husband Ooh, was doing... Close. I, I had love... And Close. she had lobster. What's that got to do who's with Christmas Who's grading lunch? this? To who gets to decide who's won? I don't, we don't know. Oh, I don't, don't know. know. Don't OK. Know. Fun. Um, Little Paul, I think. So once your panel's done correctly, because you're properly following the instructions, that becomes your centre part, and then you're just doing the rows. So this is just a case of, um, yeah. so, you know, sewing it into rows like that. What I might do is just applique with a different stitch. Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Um, for fun. So really you can use any of the decorative stitches, but you just want to bear in mind that you need something that's going to cover the edges. Yeah. So like a very close zigzag is a good one. Um, blanket stitch is nice, but if you wanted to use something more decorative... 
But with the blanket stitch, what you have to you have to test it first because if you get the first one down isn't in the right place, you miss the hole in the edge of the fabric, yes. don't you? Yes. Yeah. So what you do? So I'm just I've just chosen a different decorative stitch just just to show you the different effect that you can get. Because a lot of times when you're appliquing, you're doing something that's going to hide, you know, so the stitches are quite hidden. But yeah. what you can do is do something that adds to it. You know, like we're talking about using different colours of thread and things like that. Yeah. But I would normally always applique with a different colour. Would you? Yeah. So you can see it. It just depends what look you're going for. Just depends on what? What look you're going for. Yeah. You know. Got any questions for Lucy? Now's the time to get them in. Just don't ask me what I did wrong. <laughs> I don't I'll know. check for you now. I'll, I'll just unpick it. And yeah. I board. think something's the wrong size. Or yeah. I think it's that central part, maybe. I think it's because Chris sabotaged it by licking those little... Um, Triangles. That's what it was, I think. Yes, maybe. I bet we get out there. I bet we find them. The I know, we I bet out. we do. They'll have got mixed up with something. So as I'm coming down to the beginning, I'm just trimming off the um, initial thread. Okay. So what stitch should you use? Um, number 47. Number 47. And what is, can you describe it to me in it's, your own words? It's um, sort of a bit like a kite. Oh, it looks like the, uh, looks like the edge of the Millennium Dome. That's what it looks like. A little bit. I've had to put the TV in my sewing room. A sitting watching you is not proving very productive. Maybe, that's from Helen in Cambridgeshire, maybe you should attach your iPad to your hoover. <laughs> and then you could watch us while you're hoovering. No? Or put us on an iPad, and as you go down the different rooms cleaning, I don't know what that means. Just sit and relax and enjoy watching us. Don't yeah. be trying to clean at the same time. Yeah, oh, yes, have a look at this. Yeah. Okay, so um, I always, whenever I'm doing something that has a plique in it, I always do like a little tester. Um, piece yeah um just to see what the different things are going to look like so doing something like that you can see how it gives it more of a sort of bohemian um you know feel to it having that decorative edge or it looks a bit like lace or something like that yeah and i think so often when you've got a nice machine you know you use it for the purpose that it's intended for and you're sewing all these things all the time but it's capable of so much more. So it is nice to have a chance to use those stitches and try out um, um, different things. I have to say, um, going off piece a little bit, I did a, my own um, pattern making show last Friday mm -hmm. and I made all my twirls using that 680. Yeah. And do you know what, it, was a, it is, I mean, I know, I'm not, I'm not here, I'm, I don't do cleaning job. <laughs> Cheeky, I only sew. <laughs> so that's why you live in a tip then, is it, Helen? Um, uh, how brilliant, yes. how easy it made. Now, I've done no. donkey's years of stitching, but I, admittedly, I haven't done much for, for a long time before coming back to Zone Quarter. And just, I mean, I had to learn what all the buttons were because I obviously mm -hmm. wasn't used to it. But the actual stitching, it made it so no, easy. Everything. And I was sewing on um, quite a basic um, machine before I came here, which was fine. And I could do all the things, you know, that I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, but it is once you've used a machine like this you really see the difference yeah. and the difference in the finish of your work as well is yeah. can be quite a leap oh, just no, because well, it no, makes everything I I, it made it all look fantastic um, yeah. now i normally would be saying go to the website buy it buy it, buy it tomorrow buy it tomorrow that's all i'm saying buy it tomorrow if you want one buy it make sure you buy it tomorrow because you've yeah. got one i have joe carter's got it now and then she you has know, and she loves it yeah as well. she loves it right and let's just have a quick look at this it is um, oh and if you if you um you're new to us you're thinking what's he talking about go to the web shop we have a whole apart from what we're selling on air here now we also have ev ev loads of things on the on the web shop so what you do is you go to www. oh we went to we went to today's quilter today as well um uh, so they go to the shop there, right? 
and you can look look through all of that sewing machines, pins, fabric, pattern fabrics, everything like that. Uh, we're also affiliated, if you don't know, we're also affiliated to two, uh, three magazines, Simply Sewing, Today's Quilter, and Love Patchwork and Quilting. Uh, and you can buy issues now on the, on, on the web, uh, from our web shop. So rather than going out in the cold to your Tesco's or to your, where have I seen them? Oh no, Tesco's I've seen them. Uh, rather than going all the way down there, you can just uh, put one in your order. Brilliant. What are you doing now? I'm just doing another one. You're getting very fancy now. I'm getting very fancy now. But is that actually catching the teardrop then? Yeah. Not gonna get oh, it. It's yeah, not getting it. It's not getting it all the yes. way, but it's. But you are gonna get um, raggedy edges. You're gonna get a little bit with this one, yeah. What do you call it? But I think it's worth it. Yeah. It's. I think it's just nice to have something different. What would I call? The raggedy edge. What's it called? A raw red. Just raw a raw edge, red. That's it. Yeah. Raw edge. But it, as you wash it, it's gonna go like that. Yeah. Um, so you're in tomorrow. What do you know? What your real project is tomorrow? Oh, but yeah, of course, I've just said that. Uh, it's the uh, Jane Alcock pattern for the Bargello, but yes. in different colourways, isn't it? Yes. You've got a lot of prep to do, then. I haven't seen one out there. Have you made it already? Yeah, I've already made it. Oh, OK. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she hasn't made it. I've got to go and do bundles. Uh, there's the two appliques there. Thank you, Lucy, for that. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See you we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, you can clear that desk now, Christopher. Get her out of the building. <laughs> Blue bundle first. Have I got voiceovers to do today as well? <sighs> it's never ending, is it? Um, look at all this gorgeous fabric. Even if you're not going to make that quilt, even if you don't like that quilt, even if you don't like Lucy Brennan, right? You can buy this bundle. <laughs> How could you not? I know, she's gorgeous. Um, she and I, we had this before the, sh the channel even opened. Um, all the designers were called in and I was a little bit nervous, Lucy was a bit nervous. We just sat in the corner and gossiped for three hours. Let them do all their, did, did all their, um, didn't they? They were all doing their networking and we just sat like this. She went, my mum loves you. <laughs> that was our opening line. Right, anyway, blue bundle, uh, nine and a half metres, nine and a half metres of fabric. Half a metre, one metre, one metre, one and a half metres, five and a half metres. Oh, what happened then? Need to check out your baskets. Then we've got the grey and the yellow. Half a metre, oh, hang on. Half a metre, one, one metre, one metre, one and a half, five and a half. I'll get that right in a minute. They're lovely colours. So even if you don't want to make that quilt and you just want that lovely fabric in your stash, it's beautiful to have, isn't it? And then this one here, which is the one that was on the wall. Half a metre, most popular, this one out of all of them. One metre, one metre, one and a half metres and five and a half metres. 61 pounds and 49 pence. Now, a few things. Oh, I'll do the book. I'll do the book. Oh, there it is. That, now, that'll make a bigger version of that. Makes a bigger version of that. Finished nine, 73 by 91. Anyway, quick and easy quilts. The book it's come from. 12 pounds, 99 pence. More than half of these have gone already. It's a lovely book, that one. Really gorgeous little booklet. Crammed. Well, look, it's a just over a pound, a pattern, isn't it? If you bought a pattern, well, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Right now, for new buyers, um, I know I say it a lot, but I do need to... Putting it in your basket doesn't guarantee you're going to get it. You do need to check out. Let's have a look at tomorrow on our birthday show. Now, this is what it stands at the moment. <laughs> Happy birthday with John and Natasha at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, birthday by Jello Quilt with Lucy Brennan. 10 o'clock, the set... So I'll be on, on that hour with Lucy. 10 o'clock is the Sail Away Quilt with Victoria Pete. So Natasha will be on with her in that one. And then all four of us will be on for the sewing quarter sew off at 11 o'clock. So that's how it stands at the moment. But if poor old Natasha or Freddie uh, are still poorly, anything could happen. Anything could happen. You could have, like, we could get Jay in, couldn't we? He hasn't done anything for a while, has he? Uh, anyway, thanks for all your birthday wishes so far. I'm sure it'll be manic tomorrow with messages and there's a cake. There's a cake, which I said, oh, we'll cut at 8 o'clock. They were like, no, you won't. You'll cut it at 11 o'clock. I'll be on stage and I'll be with the knife. So whoever knows. Well, it's true, isn't it? Uh, uh, thanks ever so much for your company. I'm sorry Lucy was rubbish. I'll see you tomorrow at eight.
So in Quarter's first birthday is on Wednesday the 31st of January and we have a week of special shows to celebrate. Finishing off the first morning of our birthday party at 11am, John and Natasha are taking part in a fun sewing challenge in the Great Sewing Quarter Sew-Off. Guest designers Lucy Brennan and Victoria Pete will guide our presenters through an hour of sewing against the clock. It's certain to be a show full of fun and laughter. Join us to see what Natasha and John will create, along with expert tips from our brilliant designers. So tune in at 11 a.m. on Wednesday the 31st of January for our first ever Sewing Quarter Sew-Off competition. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 or Sky Channel 678.